It's time for Side Schoolers with me, Stuttery Craig. You decide what you lose, not other people. And laugh. I like pickles. And co-hosted by our friends from around the internet. If you like common sense, hit that thumbs up button and of course the subscribe button and join us Monday through Friday live at 11 a.m. Central Time. And now, broadcasting from our homes, it's time for the number one gaming and entertainment podcast on God's green earth. It's time for Side Scrollers. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome on out to Side Scrollers on YouTube.com and Rumble.com and SideScrollers.Rumble.com. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm Stuttering Craig. Man, we got a good one today. There's so much to talk about. As always, it is, you know, I gotta be honest. When we started Side Scrollers, we're like, will there be stuff to talk about every day? The answer is yes, there's always stuff to talk about. Hello, Blabs. Hello, happy Easter to anyone who celebrates Easter on Sunday. Hi. Well, that was yesterday, Blabs. We're long That's why I said on Sunday. Long what? past that, Blabs. Oh, oh, yes, the whole not even 24 hours ago. Lane. God, I can't even be nice to the chat. <laughs> oh man, uh, no, you, you should, you should, and also, yeah. uh, don't, don't, also forget to celebrate the no. other national. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I know. No, no. Uh, joining us today it's Monday, which means we're joined by Yellow Flash. Hello, buddy. How are you? Good. Are any good suicide notes lately? <laughs> There's one that just dropped. Oh, Cartoonist. Boy cartoonist kayfabe ed pest scores flashes in the joking but i don't know how a four page suicide note is that's got to be one detailed joke then yeah yeah apparently this just dropped there's a uh i don't know a whole lot about comics but uh flash like just to pull everybody in on this like five minutes before we went live flash like there's a suicide note that just dropped and uh it's over on google docs which means it'll probably be taken down pretty soon uh for you know they'll just if as soon as somebody somebody gets a hold of it um but yeah there's this guy who's uh apparently gonna off himself and that's you know i don't like it when anybody does that to themselves but uh either way then flash flash is meticulously reading through it trying to trying to see everything that's going on so um oh apparently i was underwater to start this show what a shame that's okay uh but look we got a great show today and we are joined by a brand new friend today Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time here on Side Scrollers, Lorena Crail. Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. So glad to be here with you all. Yeah. Hey, question. Mm -hmm. uh, is that Creole or Creole? How do you pronounce it? It is It is Creole. It mm -hmm. is Creole. Yes. Okay, so, so you have a little, uh, little, little Cajun? Okay. Not Cajun. Here's kind of like the difference. I'm Creole. So the Cajuns are a different from the from the Creoles. Um, the best example I can give that folks can understand. Creole is more like interview with the vampire. Cajun is like the water boy. <laughs> you know, I watched a little water boy last night and uh, you know, I was just just scrolling through. So I appreciate the the clarification. That's awesome. Well, uh Great to have you on. We're really glad you're here. Uh, obviously, everybody can find you over on uh, your YouTube channel as well as over on X. Uh, so, if anybody wants to go check her check you out, uh, what like what what type of stuff do you do on a day to day basis? Oh my gosh, uh, I do uh, live streams about pop culture. I also do uh, theme park streams as well. But whether it's pop culture live streams some gaming, full-fledged gaming once I get my new rig finally put uh, put together. It's all through the lens of just keeping it real, hot takes, no matter whether you agree or disagree, we're going to have fun talking about it. Love it. So do everybody do me a favor, scroll your little mouse over there and hit the old subscribe button just like I have and see the little thing pop yeah. up and join. As well as uh, you can follow Lorena over on X as well, which uh been busting out some fire over there, which has been great. The queen of spicy ticks, yes. which is wonderful. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, we're, we're very glad you've joined us today. Uh, we got a lot to talk about, but first I'd like to remind everybody we are live over at rumble.com slash side scrollers. Join us over there. 
over 6,000 wonderful common sense seekers, 6,410 right now. Uh, hit the follow button. Join us over there as we're growing every single day a little bit more over at Rumble. Appreciate you guys popping in. We also have an X account where you could have found out that Flash was going to be on the show and Lorena was going to be on the show. Just by hitting the follow button, it would have been great. But you didn't, so you don't. So make sure you do. Uh, we also have an Instagram account, don't we, Blabs? We do. So follow us for memes and clips, or you know, I don't, I don't really know. No Blabs. Give them the violence. Oh, I can do that now. You were like, oh, isn't it a bit old now? And then I was like, start talking to, and now you're like, go back to the violence. No, no, no. Give them the good. But I, yeah, I just need you to be creative with the violence, like a nail through the eye. You know, like, oh, get really no, intense no, with mm -mm. it. No, no, this is awful. Peeling back fingernails, you know, like get really. Oh, why do you think of these things? I'm just saying. Well, I mean, just off the top of my head. No. You know? <laughs> Why'd you go look up what like gooner means or DP or something like that? Those are the words I learned last week. Well, Blabs is going to do something horrible if you don't follow us over on Instagram. We also have a kick account at kick.com slash side scrollers and a Spotify account as well if you want to listen to the show on your day-to-day -day basis instead of watching and looking at our silly, stupid faces. Uh, but I would love for you to join me over on sidescrollers.locals.com. Why, friends? Why? Number one, you're going to get you're going to get notifications every single day, whereas like on YouTube, you're not. Um, and on top of that, coming up in April. This month, starting this month, we are 17 days away from my Lord of the Rings watching party where I will watch the theatrical version of Lord of the Rings. That is Wednesday the 17th, and that'll be a Locals exclusive because I will not be able to show what I want to show over on YouTube. So join us over there. Uh, speaking of YouTube, join the 74,034 subscribers who have joined us over here on YouTube. Genuinely appreciate that. Passing great numbers today. It's excellent. I'm sorry, 74,038 subscribers. Uh, let's hit our goal of 600 likes, which, by the way, been blowing by that recently, which is spectacular. Uh, let's, you know what? Should we, should we bump that up, Labs? Dare I say 700? What? Don't you dare. Okay, 700 is the goal now from here on out. <laughs> And uh, let's do our best to hit our 25 memberships on a uh, on, on our show-to-show -show basis. Let's see if we can do that. As we're off to a great start, as Mark the Cyborg has come in as, with a re-membership for eight months, Mark. Great to see us. As, it's been an honor and a pleasure to spread <laughs> to spread managed democracy with Craig and Flash. Welcome, Morena. Uh, yeah, I love spreading freedom. Yes. I can't play still. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, Raging Rhino's having the same problem as you. Which yep. is, it's... He, dude, he's been he's been so upset about it for like the last weekend. I was like, let's play some Battlefront 2. No, I'm too depressed over Hell Divers. I'm like, <laughs> bro, shake it wanna, off. Who would want to play <laughs> Battlefront Collection when you have this glorious? No, 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 no. I'm not playing the collection. That shit is terrible. Pro democracy game out to I'm spread freedom. I'm talking about the 2017 shit. Mm, the one that's also not cross cross platform. Yeah, Bla Blabs is old school with a 2017. I'll tell you what. <laughs> wow, <laughs> <It's> ridiculous! <laughs> it's uh, a real retro gamer. Yeah, real. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got the classics collection, then it was dog shit, so I refunded it on Steam, and I was like, I might as well just play it on Xbox, my uh, 2017 one. Which, by the way, my heavy is almost a hundred percent max, which is like level one thousand. Wow, Blabs, what's it yeah, like I'm playing pro. games in 1080p instead of 4K? How could you deal? <laughs> You That's can't amazing. even play that game. I would whoop your ass in Ewok hunting. You'd be like, ah. Nissan came in with a $5 super chat and says, Flash, I just want you to know that I enjoy you on the panel. All these Razor Sims don't speak for the rest of us. Cheers. Well, Razor, uh, we'll be coming back soon. News on that sooner than later. But I, we said all along, Raz Razor said he's going to come back once, uh, once Ghost is out. And Ghost will be out soon. So uh glad glad flash has joined us of course dante rage says i was hoping for the slap the like button like a butt like a woman from new york option in the poll what is that about huh i missed <laughs> that story me too, me too. Uh, g2 drummer says hey craig what day was dia de huevos i don't know i stopped celebrating that about a decade ago so i, I don't remember what uh what the, that was that was the old screw attack holiday we made up i think it was like the third friday in February or something. And it was really stupid. Andrew came in with a 10 says, what are your thoughts on celebrate and the characters outfits and outfits and how people say it's basically corn. Uh, Lorena, what are your thoughts? On oh, and the people, first of all, people need to get over it. Um, one, I'm pissed that I can't play stellar blade because I don't have a PS five. I have PS four. The 
outfits are freaking amazing. I love it. I want all the outfits. And uh, I'm really getting sick and tired of the hate against sexy looking women in video games. I Welcome really am. To Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Labs, do you have any issues as a woman uh, with the way that the character looks in, in Stellar Blade? No, I wish I looked like that. <laughs> now you know how I feel when it comes to Jake Gyllenhaal and Roadhouse. That's all I'm yeah, saying. but I, I don't, I don't have a Jake face. Listen, Lorena, did you know that Craig has a Jake face? He does, really? Yeah, he's Listen. like a big simp for Jake Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't blame him. I'm such a simp for Jake Gyllenhaal. I, I mean, forget I don't blame that him either, movie but he's, he's Roadhouse very movie much. Was. Dude, but I didn't on. care. I heard it, it was, was good. It was yeah. Jake and it was Florida. I mean, it was a good popcorn watch, but Dude, I I've would heard say about 45 minutes in, that's when it kind of started to go off the rails. Like, uh, oh, y'all were doing so good, but it's okay. I can go oh. back and watch the first 45 minutes again. <laughs> no, you nailed it. You nailed it. It, it. it like totally jumps your shark in like the third act. And, yeah. But it's a great popcorn flick. And at the end of the day, you have Jake Gyllenhaal and his massive god bod staring at you like this. And like, come on, what, what are we even like? What? That's not even real. How is that even real? I, I, yeah. I mean, it was just good to look at. Plus, this makes Jake Gyllenhaal officially a Florida man. And that was 100% true Florida in that flick. I'll tell you right now. It always comes back to Jake. Craig always. has Jake on his screensaver. I may I may just do it just be just for you, Blab. Yeah, Blab. or like for these <laughs> desktop photos, and then your wife comes in, she's like, "What the hell? What are you getting? What do you, what are you Why looking at? Why is that your background? <laughs> just put it back here. Put it on the wall. Just a bit. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, Toma came in with the twenty dollars super chat. Says so far the most unbelievable gaming news story I saw was that Bandai sold uh, sold dot hack to CyberConnect two. That might be real, but it was posted today. Uh, I don't know what Blab, see if you can do a little digging on that right there. See, so it's the April Fool's digging through all the insanity that is happening on the day to day basis here, uh, or on the hour by hour basis. We're, we're going to have an April Fool's roundup for you guys here in a little bit. Uh, thank you, Tomok. We'll definitely look into that, see what's going on with that. Karnak came in and says, All this BGG, sweet baby woke stuff and celebrate shenanigans just makes me think back to the days of Jessica Negri and sexy cosplayers. Oh my God. Yeah, uh, do, do y'all know who Jessica Negri is? Yes. I do not. Well, she was the cosplay queen. queen. Yes. Like, she, like, oof. yeah, like a, a deck. I, I don't, I, she may have been able to just retire from, from what she did. Uh, wow. Because she was, she killed it. This was Jessica Negri. And she had like all the assets. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff I used to see when I would go to conventions like uh, Dragon Con, and all you would see was just mind-blowing cosplay. I'm like, I suck at this, so I'm just going to take pictures and <laughs> just, you know, hype you guys up. It's amazing how uh, how talented cosplayers are, but this lady, I hadn't seen hers before, so. Oh, she definitely has a lot of talent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all of the talent. All of it. <laughs> All of it. Uh, awesome. Um, Enoch uh, Enoch came in and says, Craig never saw Lord of the Rings, but he did see Damsel. No, I did not see Damsel. I did not see that. My wife I did. That. It's awful. Oh. So bad. I watched it? it thinking it would be like, you know, you could, it would be so bad that you could laugh at it. I wasn't even laughing at it. I was like, this is just terrible. And like the prince is like mm -hmm. the actor from the first Jurassic World movie back in 2015, one of the young kids. And like, I don't know what he did to himself, but he was a cute kid back in the day and he just grew up to be not a good looking dude. It's kind of disappointing also, so. Okay, well, I'll scratch that one off the list. <laughs> yeah, don't bother. Really, not don't like bother. it was tops on the list anyway. <laughs> they treated all the dudes like morons and all the women, she's like the main character, she's an idiot herself too, but at least she, she's a snob about it. She's like, I'm better than you are and everything, but she's a moron anyway, so. Don't watch it. If you want, if you guys are actually interested in it, Lady G did a whole breakdown on her Twitter, just ripping it to shreds in like 30 different tweets. I recommend her you eating that and then you'll be fine. But but not 33 different tweets ripping up gothics. <laughs> like, like, oh, like, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Flash, I know you said you, you're going to have a video coming up on the uh, Black Girl Gamer stuff uh, later this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because they, their little rant over the weekend came from my show. They're always watching. Ooh. 
Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Yeah, we had gothics on, and the moment she left, they waited for her to leave. I just want to make sure that that's noted, because once she left, they posted a 33-page thread on, uh, or a 33-tweet thread on uh, how wrong she was. Of course. Punk-ass move, but, you know, it's what they do. Hey, Dark came in says, thanks for the best laugh of the week. Melanie and Blast figuring out what DP was. <laughs> I'd be crying laughing. <laughs> what? Do you guys know what DP is? If it's an urban dictionary, that's okay. You don't have to tell me. Okay. <laughs> Do Blast know what it is? <laughs> DP? Welcome to the show, Lorena. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it means. I whatever then. <laughs> I do not I do not know what it is, and something tells me that I should not update my mental data. See, it's not just stuff. me. It's not just me. Well, we have a video on the channel. Uh it's two minutes long of Blabs and Melanie Mac learning what it means. Um and um, I don't think, you know, we're only 15 minutes in the show of and especially getting to know Lorena. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily appropriate to bring them right off the bat. It just means Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it means Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I've never heard it referred like that. <laughs> oh my god, uh, Enorma. That's funny. I see what it's, I see what you're doing there, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm really surprised that Kotaku hasn't written an article on how to the best way to do DP while playing a game. Listen, you know, they have that. the butt plug article, so yes, yeah, I mean, let's just keep it going. Oh, Enormous tits for two dollars. Oh, yeah, Stella Blade does it right. <laughs> yes, they do. Stella Blade does do it right. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy how that works out. Um, have you seen something? Some huge boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kara. That works. That. It works. True. Dante came in and said, Jake versus Connor was effing hilarious. Connor uh, made it amazing with all his wacky, quote unquote, acting skills, right? He did. He's an honorary Florida man because <laughs> that was just nuts. <laughs> Roadhouse, man. I'm telling you, it's like, it's it's a fun watch. I really enjoyed watching it. You know, it, it the last the last act, it gets insane, but it's it's fun. Uh, Worthy One says, it's so refreshing to see other black nerds like the Reina, Eric July, Gothics. Uh, a Tays. By the way, I, I, I want to make sure I'm saying it. I think it's A Tays, but I saw he had a rant this weekend on uh, on X. It was pretty good. And many others uh, call out the BS from Black Girl Gamers. Here's hoping more will wake up soon. I love how There's Black Girl Gamers there. loves to silence black voices. Oh, yeah, because they do not agree. You have to all think the same, you know. That seems so insulting. Like It is insulting. Right? It's insulting, and not only is it insulting, it's a way of controlling the group think. It's like the crabs in a bucket. You know, if you've ever, you know, had boiled crabs, which I do, as soon as you put them in the bucket, if one tries to get out, they all try to pull them uh, to pull them back in. So, same thing. They would have loved the uh, cultural revolution. Wow, that's that's crazy. So same the crabs. Thing? The crabs try to pull the other crabs back in? That's yes. That's terrible. Like, yes. Oh, you can't free yourself. You're going to die they, with us. They cannot get out. I've witnessed it. That's why, you know, you pretty much don't worry. As soon as you just dump them in there, you know they're not getting out. Okay, here. I, I have video of the crabs in the bucket <laughs> right now. Thank you, YouTube, for this. Let's check it out. There you go. Yep. You're getting pulled back in? Oh, we're all going down together. That's right. That's crazy. Don't let the like that. There's just the crabs in the bucket. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I don't want to go to the beach now. Be like... be beach does sound good. Maybe we can do a show uh, at the beach <laughs> one day. Be the sand. Hi, everybody. <laughs> You're good. Uh, by the way, Tomac uh, Blabs, you said you couldn't find anything on this today. No, nothing for the last year. So I don't really. I'm not really sure what happened. Everything yeah. was from like 2023 and older. Thanks, Tomac. Dan says, since Dan is, uh, sorry, Dan says, since Craig has never seen Lord of the Rings, I basically never seen Game of Thrones. Is I've that seen true? one season of Game of Thrones. Uh, never seen Lord of the Rings? Four. Yes, Flash, that is accurate. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. And uh, and it's there's one thing that I know is that the internet will kick me in the balls over that. Yes. Over and How have over you never over watched over. those? <laughs> See? Man, you will get your. Uh, 
nerd your geek card pulled if you tell someone that you haven't seen oh Bullet i'm Bullet. gonna ruin your but day then, now, well, I'm, well, now i'm curious what were you doing because those were huge yeah, huge were. cultural moments those three movies yeah they were what were you doing those years he's probably like uh, busting moves at the parties and stuff <laughs> yeah, I, I was a i was a professional break dancer at that end. <laughs> 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 No, that was it. 2003 was the first one. Um, no, yeah, 2001, was... wasn't it? Oh, yeah, 2001. I was worried about playing slam ball. Yeah, I was worried about playing. So I was in college and doing slam ball and doing all that stuff. Yeah, I was, I was you know, you know what it was? Too? I was like worried about Disney World and stuff at that time. That was stupid. Yeah, 2001. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like blow Lorena's mind. He's only seen the first 10 minutes of Harry Potter and the last 10 minutes of the Harry well, Potter a, movies. That's okay. He's not read the books. He's only seen Star Wars once. That's There's okay. like 11 I forgive Star the Harry Wars Potter movies. stuff. Six real ones. Cares so... about Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings is much, much better. Look, I blew her mind. You definitely need to watch those three Lord of the Rings movies. See? I will. We can okay. skip Harry Potter. You don't need to watch it. Okay, so Blab. So let's so, so I get this straight. The first mm -hmm. 10 minutes of Harry Potter and the Sorcery Sorcerer's Stone, and the last 10 minutes of the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Do I have that right? Correct. That's what you've seen. Can we, fair, can, we, can we cancel him? To be fair, the Sorcerer Stone sucks. Shut up, Flash! These are not opinions so does, you can have. <laughs> so does Chamber no. of Secrets. That movie. No, is they don't. Too. No. Yeah. Mm. Just nah. if you're gonna start, Craig, start on the third one. No, Chris Columbus mm. is top tier. Oh, we, we have. Uh, I have live footage of I Blabs will say that's right okay. now. Uh, live footage of Bra Blabs over here Blabs. trying to trying to pull everybody back. <laughs> <in. laughs> I am not a crab. Uh -oh. <laughs> Lots Those are all movies. Sorcerer Stones fans trying to get them to come back to watch the movie. Uh, I will agree, though. The most accurate, actually. Really? <laughs> That's what I heard. Although with the movies, wait, wait, wait. the third the one book? is when it was really just like, oh, well, okay, okay. Now we're gonna play rapt attention, and then I went back and read the books after that. Oh, thank God! I was gonna say, oh my gosh, she hasn't read them. Ooh. Can I? Uh, can I blow your mind, Blabs? I know you haven't read them either. This is not shocking. Last night. Last night, Blabs. I saw the last 10 minutes of Harry Potter again. Why? Because it was what? on TV. What about the rest of it? What'd you just no. do? Close your eyes for that? Just, like, no, okay, I just, I'm good now. <laughs> it just conveniently came on. So I watched the last 10 minutes of it again. And I saw that Harry Potter gets old and his kid goes off to Hogwarts and it ends on a, <laughs> a zoom in on a chase. And that's it. I am not fond of you right now. No, congratulations. Harry Potter wins. <laughs> like, what do you want? It's fine. It's fine. Oh Whatever. My God. Whatever, man. Well, look, he doesn't even really win. He only wins because the wand that Voldemort was using backfired. No, what? Yeah, because it wasn't his. <gasps> it's fine. Whatever. And then he breaks it. And All that, it that entire break. franchise is built up with him being this badass, and he never does shit. He doesn't even really get a big win. At the end, the only reason he wins is because the wand backfires on Voldemort. That's not what happened. Did we watch the same yeah, he couldn't really use his power because the hey, wand up, Craig, you're blew muted up. Anyway. <laughs> uh oh, those are fighting words. Listen, listen. <laughs> wow. Lady. Wow. Lady. I feel like I, we're going to have to It's time for the main event. Blabs versus Flash. Oh, I'll win. I beat your ass with facts. You got nothing. You're like, oh, it backfired in one, two, three. Right. No, that's not it did. No, that's not what happened. He couldn't use his full power because the fucking backfired the wand he was using because it belonged to Snape, and then it belonged to Harry. The wand belongs because... to Draco Malfoy, actually. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so it doesn't change the point that it didn't belong to Voldemort. It didn't belong to him, but he thought it did. And besides the fact that Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Neville had to destroy the Son, son, Wuku can't came do out. that, Craig. I have the power. <laughs> <laughs> Steiner man, says, you're not watching the extended versions. The lack of the lacking Craig integrity, and you don't deserve an equation from the world's greatest mathematician. Steiner math. Now, just relax. I've been told that I need to watch the theatrical first to truly appreciate the extended versions. That's what I've been told, and that's what I've been suggested by most people. So I'm going to start with the theatrical versions. And uh, if I'm into it, then maybe some other time we'll do the uh, extended versions. Be able I to agree. See yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, Steiner Matt. Don't ever question my correct integrity. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, Enoch came in and says, Craig never saw Batman 89, but he saw Howard the Duck. <laughs> what? Listen, that's all lies. All lies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he found the duck human relations both inspiring and sexy. Uh, what a sick comedy generous. <laughs> Enoch, you're a horrible person. Uh, Andrew says, Craig, you're such a fake nerd. You could work for I you could work at I on IGN. That's savage. <laughs> that is. Don't you dare. Mm, but you know it. what? It's accurate. I see a lot of people in the chat coming to to back me up. That's right, because you're right. Right, Blabs? Hey, Blabs, right. the power card came in. Mm, I don't know what that last word is. I'm hoping it's not offensive or anything, but <clears throat> Blabs, it's how we're tired for $2. Yay, me, love you, Bard, and Lorena, kudos. I can give you a translation what that means. Kunas is actually used by a lot of Cajuns. That's like mm -hmm. a Cajun... Uh, like a Cajun term of, you know, term of affection. Valiant has used it. That's why when people are like, can he say that? I'm like, yes, because I'm the only person that was on the panel laughing my ass off when he said that. No one else could uh, get that. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Like calling the yourself a, like a hick, pretty much a Cajun yes. hick. That's pretty much yes. what it is. That's what it means. That is correct. Uh, Lover of Green came in. Says, Have you guys heard of uh, Jose Jose Beard Bird, uh, he's a leftist Beard. YouTuber who made a one-hour diatribe on Critical Drinker. The video is completely disaster uh, and could be a fun roast trip, uh, uh, fun roast on EFAP or Flashcast. How did no, you get Bird and Beard mixed up? I'm just be wondering. Because there was the line over the uh, over the E for Jose, the and I was trying to be something. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be super uh, authentic, but it didn't work out very well. Lord J says, Flash is right. Voldemort is the most incompetent villain no, ever written. No, have you read the books? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, let's just figure it out all day. Great. Uh, I'm a little jiggle boy. Came in with the $69 direct donation. Says, yes, that's right. I, Craig Skistimus, only 69 for my deep empathy for Bobby Boucher from The Water Boy. Mama said the reason Cancel Gators... Cancel Gators hate all. <laughs> Mama said all the reason Cancel Gators hate all the media is because they all because they got all them teeth and no toothbrush. <laughs> Captain Captain Insano shows no mercy. <laughs> I'm confused. What the hell did you just read? <laughs> it's a line from Bobby Boucher. Yeah. It's a from the Water Boy. Um, hey, I, don't, I haven't seen Water Boy in like 20 years. Oh. Mama Go said all the. If only you had that. Food. If only you had that clip from Billy Madison where he goes sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, we had, like don't we? Is this it? What number are we thinking of? Sixty nine, dudes. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's not Billy, Billy Madison. That's, that's Billy Madison. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Isn't that Wayne's World? Is that what I just did? No, no, just, no it's Bill and Ted. Oh, off the show. Lorena, what color would you like today? Get out of here. <laughs> I would like blue, thank you. Blue, blue it is. Sounds it's good. So cool. Lorena's the first person to ever say thank you. Everyone else is like purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's it's a, it's a southern thing. You you have to be usually overly, overly mm, I like polite. it. Yes. Thank you. All right, that's definitely Kratos El Gratos over there with a 69. Thank you so much. Genuinely appreciate that. Look at that. Look at that. We got our first. Oh, there we go. Blue right there. There. Mm. We are. And one fell off. Um, I got. I got the proper clip. Yeah, Hold I'll up. play this. What is okay? This? So let's all open up our reading. It's fun books. Oh, this. 69. 69. <laughs> 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 <I remember. laughs> <Super boring. laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys have been phenomenal this morning with your super chats, your uh, rumble rants, uh, and your direct donations. Thank you guys very much for those. I'll read every single one off before the end of the show, but we're almost 30 minutes and we haven't even got to any of the good stuff today. Uh, but before we do, Blabs, would you like to educate everybody on today in gaming history? I would, Craig. I'm like, just freaking scroll the way up. We have a million videos. Okay. Did you guys know that today on April 1st is the anniversary of Mortal Kombat 3? It is now 29 years old and released yep. back in 1995. Feeling geriatric today? Yes. Also, the Oregon Trail 5th edition is 23 years old. And I remember this game, Craig and like Extra Zero were talking about the Oregon Trail a lot and how I should play it because he was like, you kill everyone and stuff like that. And it sounds like something I would trail. do. What? Oregon Trail's great. 
Yeah, I should play that one. And Goat Simulator is now 10 years old. Now, I just played this game back on Friday on my kick. It is a wild game. I mean, you can explode vehicles just by running a goat into it. Like, what the hell? Can we get <laughs> that game remade with like yeah. updated graphics, trail game? More realistic goats, yes. Why can't we get a modern, like, not? I don't want to say modern, but it's just remade game, like with today's graphics? I would totally play that, taking my wagon across the country. You want to make Goat Simulator for, for modern audiences? Oh, Oregon Trail. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was talking about Goat Simulator. I was no. like, I'm like, hey, no. Years old. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, where are we going with that one? <laughs> <laughs> Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, and uh, it should just be a survival game, like, survive portland that's it just make it from one side of the one side of the city to the other without getting <laughs> yeah uh, that's awesome we've got games like that like daisy and <laughs> it's horrible da daisy is, is the modern day is the modern day oregon trail that's where we're at today which is great all right let's get into it it's time for my favorite segment your favorite segment everybody in the world's favorite segment it's time for hard news <laughs> All right, today is the day. It's the uh, Funny Man Day. It's uh, April Fools, where there are all so all sorts of news is being popped on the internet throughout the day. So some of this um, may not be real. <laughs> some may be. Uh, I I'm gonna just throw this one into the I don't think it's real category. Uh, but Blabs wanted to start with this one today. Uh, there's a new gaming chair. Uh, does everybody here have a gaming chair? Lorena does. Uh, Blabs mm -hmm. does not. No, nah, they're uh, uncomfortable. Got him. I got myself some gaming chair. It's got movable like things on it. And you can tilt back. It's I got a foot rest. I got a foot rest and I got a back massage on my. Whoa! She's got a high tech one. Yeah, easy. So just gonna like make her food and stuff too. <laughs> no I <joke>. wish. <laughs> but can yours do this, Lorena? <laughs> Yo, guys, check out this gaming toilet chair. Can't even wipe that ass, bro. <laughs> I I gotta laugh because I work in IT, which is actually why I took the day off. And literally, if they could do that to our chairs, they would. That's why this is so freaking funny. <laughs> Efficiency I, is always needed. <laughs> I don't think it's real. <laughs> But uh, especially given the the robotic hand at the end, by the way, which which pops out with the two yeah, fingers. That's, yeah, that's the, yeah. <laughs> but still, still pretty good. Um, so there's that. Um, Flash, you ever uh, you ever felt the need? You, you know, it's funny. That reminds me of it. Reminds me of a skit I was actually shown this weekend from Saturday Night Live, uh, <laughs> where. This guy was, uh, it, it's kind of the idea where this guy was sitting at an office job and he had a lot of work to do. So they, <laughs> it's such a stupid idea, which makes it brilliant. Um, you you have a lamp on your desk and you you poop into the lamp, right? And this guy's like, oh, you know, it'll, I'll be so much more pro, uh, productive. And the guy's like really happy about it, but then he has like seven lamps on his desk <laughs> and, the, and his boss walks in. He's like, why does it, why your lamp smell so bad? Uh, it's pretty... Hey, Jay, Jay, it's a good story. Yeah, are you still wearing a Santa hat, Jay? Jay, it's it's yeah, we're in April. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, great Germany story, Greg. God's sakes, it's a funny skit. Whatever. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Flaps, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. You know what else will lighten the mood? Flaps, how about you tell everybody about the game that you wanted to talk about today? Go crazy, go. <laughs> Okay, so this randomly popped up on my Twitter feed and it's not out yet. However, you can sign up to like do like the demo and the play test, but it's called Duck Side. And it says, imagine Daisy or Russ, but you're a duck. A, pres a president world survival game with PVP, PVE, crafting, base building, and hat wearing ducks wielding weapons. You're just Boring. playing around as a duck. I like oh, how their I feather is strong enough like a, like a finger to pull the trigger. Yeah, look at this. this and wield an axe. I would so do this. Hey, look do look this. Look this is this is like the demented version of Untitled Goose Game. 
Look, they wear hats. It's adorable. Why wouldn't you want to play, Craig? Why? Why are you such a like a Get fun hater? Weapons? Yeah, I'm hating on fun today. I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it looked. I mean, I think it's one of those things where you know, you could have made that game and just made it regular people, but the fact that they made it ducks makes it kind of pop a little bit. Which you I know, love I, it. You I know. have it on my watch list, and I requested to be a play test. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you guys know if I get in. All right, please, keep us updated. Keep updated on your project, which is good. All right, uh, Lorena, you're also into into theme parks, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you see the news that came down from Welcome uh, to you... Duck Side? Oh, what, the survival on. game where you play I, as I a duck. duck Side trailer playing in my ears. You sorry, you guys didn't hear that. Oh, you play me, Craig. Play me. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we'll get back to the universal thing in a second. Can we can we talk about the the trailer blatant use of AI AI voiceover? Listen to this. Side the survival game where you play as a duck. Let's dive into the basics to help you get started. First up, AI? flying. That's yeah, for sure. Hundred percent AI. Why wouldn't you just record it yourself? I don't. I've never. I hate when people do that on videos. Use AI voice. Just why don't you just use your voice? Some people it's just I, always sounds off. Yeah, it does. It's there's no personality attached to it, but so will people get mad at them for using AI for their voiceover? I don't know. That's that's a, that's a tiny build game, by the way. So um, I'm anyway. still gonna play it. I know you are. Right? <laughs> that's ducks. You yeah. love ducks. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on to our another story, Lorena. You are a big. Uh, you're big into theme parks, yeah. You like you like mm -hmm. going to the theme parks and all that. I do. I do. You saw the news uh, from this past uh, past I guess, Friday or so with the Universal, where they announced the new the new uh, section into their yeah, park, the Island, the, uh, Isle Islands of Adventure. They, oh, sorry, Isle of Verk at Epic mm -hmm. First, or Epic, not Epic First, <laughs> Epic, Epic Universe, Epic Universe, yes. yeah. Epic Universe. Mm -hmm. at Epic Universe, they, sold, Epic they stole Josiah's company. They did. <laughs> But uh, this looks like super fun. They came out and they dropped all sorts of, uh, you know, different places and and uh, eating place, all the rides, uh, meet and greets and all sorts of fun stuff. It looks it looks very cool. This is the first of many, many uh, of the many, I guess, portals that you're going to see at Epicverse. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Lorena, yeah. what's your thoughts on on that? On Isla Burke or Epic Universe in general? Uh, the, the, I'd say let's go with the announcement. Um, the announcement I thought was pretty cool. Uh, there's so much to do that they showed. They understand, obviously, the concept of how, you know, of how to train your dragon. They even drop in exactly where this land comes in within the timeline of the films and every single thing that you see, like you're going to see dragons walking around. You're going to see dragons flying. Some of them can, I believe, blow fire, which, you know, as Teen Targaryen from House of Thrones, I definitely have to. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to that. You've got a coaster that goes through water. You've got a boat ride where you can actually shoot water to shoot at targets as you go around. So it's never going to be the same thing twice. You've got a restaurant that it's a dead-on replica of Mead Hall from How to Train Your Dragon. So it's it's going to be, well, one, a great land for families, but still just fun to just walk in there and just do stuff, you know, with the entertainment, with, you know, the stage show that actually is going to have a flying dragon in it, and where you actually get to meet Toothless and Hiccup. So I'm assuming they're probably going to have this animatronic, which is I would say an upscale of like where you can meet Blue from um, Jurassic World. They oh, also yeah, yeah. have that meet and greet that's ah. going on. So I'm thinking it's going to be the same thing, but it's I guess it's going to be a uh, much more advanced animatronic where you actually get to you get to meet Toothless. So, so pretty good announcement by Universal. Uh, pr pretty good stuff. And then you see what Disney brought to the table over at Epcot. I it's thought a, this was Vegas. It's this, is, this cage and the stripper pole. Oh pole. <laughs> my god, I can't believe you. Yeah, I guess I can. This is this is modern Disney. So I totally, totally believe. That's not drag middle, queens. Yeah, but like the one in the middle, no, she's not actually doing anything. If you watch her, she's just kind of like like she just points. That's it. She's just pointing at everybody. Like, look at that. Yeah, but what the look rest of them are doing are it's like they're hanging off a stripper pole. Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're totally strippers. These are like ex-strippers who couldn't get totally. hired. 
Now, the one in the middle, I will tell you, there was this show that went on, I believe it was during the arts festival, called, I believe, uh, Strength in Motion or something like that. And they would do like all these strength poses and stuff like that. So I believe that's where she is from. So she's mm -hmm. actually, you know, talented doing like handstands on dude's hand. It's, it's very reminiscent style. of Soviet Russia. Yes. Yes. Right. I, I think it's just really funny when you look at the the two different things you got you got a major announcement happening over on Universal side, mm -hmm. and then Disney's <laughs> like, "By the way, here you go. Here's a merry-go-round with." Some we got children's. <laughs> couldn't go to couldn't go to the titty bar last night. <laughs> Come to Epcot. Somebody's gonna to. try to put a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm not in the right place. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, some guy just pulls up a chair, starts getting out his wallet and just throwing them down. He just starts mm -hmm. throwing ones. <laughs> Mighty have they fallen. Oh, my gosh. Big and there time. you go. I, I think those two instances are wonderful. It's a wonderful metaphor for the state of Disney versus the state of Universal right now, which uh, it's amazing to see. Disney's uh, in trouble. We even <laughs> have, like, Forbes putting – I think it was Forbes about how uh, – Indiana Jones lost money, like they're admitting it that it lost. Yeah, and it that. was it's a conservative number actually because they don't have marketing included. But they're like, yeah, I lost 130 million. It's probably yeah. closer to 300 million actually. But hey, you know, at least they're admitting it. Right. All right, let's go to our uh, next quick hit. Quick hit here, uh, Blabs. You wanted to talk about Helldivers two for a second. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, so Helldivers 2, which you know, want, want, I haven't been able to play except for once, has actually passed Destiny 2, an all-time CCU count, which that's a lot. If you think about it, Destiny, how old? Five years at least, at least, isn't it? No, even more than that, Destiny, right? So if you think about it in like the span of what, two months or not even for Helldivers, it already passed those numbers. That's I love huge. Helldivers 2. I didn't know. I'm sad I can't play. I'm all alone. My Rhino and I are just stuck while everyone else plays. This is one it's of the few tough. times I've been excited to play a multiplayer game in a long time. Well, I really like it that there's four people in um, Helldivers and even the upcoming X Defying. Because like, that's what I really love when you get to play with more people in FPS games. Like Apex is really fun, yeah, but you only have three in the team. It's like, ah, you really miss that fourth person. I think person. four is a sweet spot. It is. It's just fun to shit talk with your friends. So that one extra person just shit talking, is, for me, is just always a lot of fun. It's not so much shit. Like most of the time, it just becomes like a, a almost like a role play because though everyone's like like yelling out locations and what they're doing and resupplies and you kind of feel like you're on a military operation it's fun yeah you get immersed in it which uh you know i just don't I, it's not what have we had multiplayer wise like over the past couple of years it's been nothing but call of duty yeah and right Fortnite I mean, and all this shit i'm just i don't like any of that shit yeah there definitely feels like there's a purpose when, when you're playing like in a, in a game like Fortnite and a game like Call of Duty, you have these, uh, I don't know, 15 to 20 minute bursts. But I feel like, especially with the idea that every, like everybody's competing against the bugs, everybody's competing against the robots, mm. everybody, it, it is a true battle that you have to be a part of. And yes, you're a small part of that battle, but it's really, really. I, I'm doing my part. Well, yeah, not really. right. <laughs> Bring them up. <laughs> it's great. It takes teamwork. Oh, it does make the dream work though. Teamwork does, which is good. <laughs> that was so flamboyant, Craig. Don't do that. <laughs> what this? No, the whole teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's just coach speak. That's all. Ugh. All right. So we have one game uh, being incredibly successful, and we had another game that was very successful at the start of the year. It was viral. Pow World, and I think this mm. this headline is kind of misleading here, Blabs. As it might be. It says Power has lost 97% of its players on on Steam since launch. That's that sounds really bad. That sounds Until, a lot. It, it, it is. Except you consider that it had an all-time peak of 2 million players and it still has 50,000 people playing it. Mm -hmm. Like that's a lot of people still playing a game. Yeah, let's compare that to Suicide Squad. Yeah, right? Kill the Justice League, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. You know they just I had will. new DLC out by the way. 
new DLC for that game, and the numbers are still shit. Wow. They they really they just uh they they're trying what they do Came with out that last week. Joker wow. DLC. I I call mm-hmm. him what he is, gay Joker. Well, aren't they trying to do it like where every every one of those characters has like their own DLC coming up and stuff like that? I swear I heard that. Uh, well, you'll get a what's supposed to be like thirteen or twelve, and you're only going to get six. I mean, once they finish this season that they've already done and fixed and made, uh, they're going to abandon. They're going to abandon this game because wow, there's more, people, there's more people probably playing Borderlands two than this. Damn, well, Borderlands Two is old as shit. In the world on Steam right now. Yeah, look up Borderlands oh. Two, Craig. I am. <laughs> I'm on it, baby. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, there are more wow. people playing Borderlands Two right now. <laughs> <laughs> Triple. When did when did Borderlands Two come out? What year? Oh I don't man, know. a long time ago. Feels yeah. like. I mean, they just announced Borderlands 2010? Four. Yeah, 2010 yeah, is that? That's a is guess. Wow. Someone in the chat will say real quick. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Well, there you go. I guess we. Yeah, uh, 2012. Yep, 2012. It's just, that's just crazy to think about. From it's just fire. crazy. Take a shot, guys. Um, <laughs> I get it. That's funny. It's a joke from last week. Well, I guess uh, Power World still still just barely hanging on with their. With their fifty thousand people who are playing, but I mean, like, okay. <laughs> and the two million people at their all-time peak, which is silly to think about. Two million people playing this game at one time. I mean, when you look at, uh, let, let me see if I can pull this up really close. Let's, let's look at there. Okay, here, yes. In comparison, when you look at this, this looks really bad. Dead game, except happens people to every would, game. Yes, it's gonna happen to Hell Divers too. Mm-hmm. You're going to have that fall people. off eventually where people are like, oh, you know, I want to go check out other things. I'll come back and, you know, and like pick it up. I mean, that's what I did with uh, with Hogwarts Legacy. I was playing the heck out of that game for like six weeks. And then I'm like, OK, I got to go do something else. And I just, you know, tapered off. Not that I didn't like the game, which was far from the truth. I just, you know, I just wanted to go and check out uh, check out other things. So you're always going to have that. uh that fall off, but mm-hmm. compare it to 50,000 people still playing it in like 2000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, come on now. And think about the price too. So the steam chart the for borderlands two starts in uh, September, 2012. So we're looking at a game that's 12 years old. Beating us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, hey, risk it. Four Biscuit came in with 10 right. gifted memberships. That's spectacular. Thank you very much. If you guys got gifted membership, make sure you say thank you very much. Consider paying it forward. Risk it for a biscuit. You're going to go on the wall, my man, and uh, genuinely appreciate it. Do me a favor. And uh, look at that. Look at that. Let's, let's just look, look at, at it. it. Look, at biscuit. look at that right there. <laughs> we need that clip. But um, I'll do you one better. Over on Locals, I think I'm going to say his name wrong. Zimmer Ma- Zimmerman? Zim. Zim. Zim sent a $50 local tip saying, hello, I'm over here now. Let's $50. go, Zim. Wow. Hi, Zim. Thank you, Zim. That is mm. awesome. I'm going to get Zim on the wall, too. Yeah. It's been a while since Zim's been on the wall. Zim's my boy, man. Zim's a good guy right there. Boom. Look at that, Zim. Zim. Oh, that's awesome. Right. Look at that. Look at this cut color coding and everything this time around. Isn't that nice? It's like a new so little gonna, project. You're going to make it look good this time. That's right. Mm. Every other wall before this has just looked like gutter trash, but this one is just- <laughs> <laughs> this, this one's the one, guys. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. And Al came in with the $20 super chat. Says, Blaz mentioned Destiny 2. Um, I, oh, it had. I was like, if had. Uh, it, it had a charity event, uh, a charity event in game. One of the charities they donated to, uh, IR, uh, IRC, is heavily involved in in Ukraine, Russia, Gaza, and was caught helping bring illegal immigrants from the southern border. Wow. Right. That's crazy. I didn't know Not that about real? you. real? Damn. I'm glad I uninstalled Destiny 2 then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Al. Instead of doing that, maybe they should, I don't know, focus on their game. That exactly. Knows- Playing I haven't played that game in like seven months at this point. I was getting bored of it. I was getting tired of the stupid glitches. So I was like, boop, uninstall. 
All right. Uh, let's, oh, you know, hey, give it up for Lagnad. Also coming in Yo. as a brand new member. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Lagnad. That's great. All right, let's go on to our, our lead story today. Um, do you recall last week in the middle of the uh, the S storm? Maybe it was at the tail end of the week before where we saw uh, this game developer come out and say this. Just wait until they notice. None of our starting characters in our, in our alpha build are white males. None. Z uh, none out of six. Blabs, you have gone back and forth with Irina. <laughs> I don't know how to say Irina's last name. But, uh, Herrera, I think. I think. But you, you've kind of gone back and forth with her several times. And you were very early on, on this. Um, I don't know. Talk about your experience. Well, I mean, there wasn't really a whole lot of experience. I saw Melee K tweet something else about like period talks, and she was like, "What the hell?" And this was the woman talking about periods. Oh yes, this is the lady who at GDC said it's really refreshing to hear another yeah. lady talk about this. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was like, "This is a parody, <sighs> right?" And she's like, "No parody here. This was amazing. Like, shouldn't you guys be, you know, focusing on gaming rather than talking about periods and screaming at the sky?" And she's like, "Nobody was screaming at the sky." So then I brought her. A link of literally everyone screaming into the sky yeah. of misinformation she's like well i wasn't screaming and i was like but she debunked um and then eventually it just turned out to be that she was like wait until you know we don't have any white guys in our games i was like imagine if you said that about black people equality not equity and she's like bah, 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 bah. and now um, i can't see you it. don't get it yeah now she i can't answer you yeah, for All some right. reason, her and Alyssa like have been answering me. Alyssa has a hate boner, love boner for me, but now she blocked me. I'm they sad. want to convert you. <sighs> they don't answer. I was called studying Craig Stooge. <laughs> I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so Arena came out and she put this out and she got blasted yeah. online, right? She got blasted. Uh, and last night she posted a response for the first time. Now, I want to preface this and let you know that I've I've had many conversations with Irina, put so uh, behind the scenes via DM. Uh, mm -hmm. She follows me, which is why I can see this thread, because she has currently uh, locked her thread on on X and locked her account again uh, after posting this uh, this response. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of provide you a little bit of insight on our conversations without giving away anything personal uh, after we're done. But she responded to this and I will read this off. None of the complaints levied against me or unleashing games are true. I work very closely with an incredible team that includes the demographic I'm accused of excluding. If that feels hypocritical, perhaps the answer is a lot simpler. The characters I referenced are demo characters, stand-ins for our character creator, which will include the ability to configure a character to your liking. We are a startup with a prototype that has been building for less than a year. We would appreciate the grace of understanding that uh, that game features don't come for free. They could have been built by people. Pe uh, or they, they, uh, they have to be built by people, people who deserve a salary. Building a game costs a lot of time and money. If you'd like to invest, we are taking calls. Haven is a cross-platform family-friendly cooperative uh, RPG with old-school MMO vibes targeted towards... Uh, a broad audience of both men and women, adult and teen. Teen. If this isn't your jam, that's totally fine. We can't please everyone, but definitely we won't exclude anyone. That was never our plan, ever. Check out our weekly stream to keep up with our progress as we add features. If you, if, uh, if you have feedback, we welcome it. So she went out and uh, she, I, I wouldn't say this is a... Um, an apology by any means it's more just like no you don't get it right um that's kind of what she's saying there now we're going to watch a little bit of this video as well uh that the beginning of their of their live stream and uh i will say this i invited uh her on the show today and i've invited her on the show several times because mm -hmm. i think when you mess up in life at all uh, or you feel like you're misconstrued you should, should probably get out in front of it and the reality is, is that uh, this this her post will be seen considerably less than than this show, uh, especially with with her stuff locked. And I think that the best thing that you can do in a situation like this is have a conversation, 
answer questions and show people that you're actually human. And I told her this last night. I said, listen, listen people see you as the girl who hates the, 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 the lady who hates white people, right? You have to, you have to get out in front of that and you have to at least have a conversation about that. I'm not looking to have a gotcha interview or anything like that, but I am, I am looking to have a conversation. Hey, what, why did you think this was funny? Like, what about this? Did you think this was funny at, at, at that exact time? Did you feel you feel like you failed to read the room? Right. And, um, it, it feels like she's definitely trying to backtrack because I feel like she definitely knows she's done damage to the game before she even got started, before she even had a chance to start. I've seen people um, making fun of the game too. What's that? There's a picture of her like in a like laughing, and it's like 15 frames a second because it shows what the game is running at, and it's like literally running at 15 to 25 frames a second. Right when she was playing a uh, whatever demo or alpha build mm -hmm. she was playing of it and uh yeah that's pretty laughable you know so, I, go I, ahead, I i was actually pretty pretty serious when i said oh blab she answered you but she didn't answer me and what i basically said is so you purposely want to incite people by saying hey guess what we don't have any white characters in our demo you didn't do that just to do that. You did that to get a certain response. And then when you didn't get the response that you wanted, then you have this thing backtracking. And I'm just like, not to go on personal appearances, but I will. I'm like, uh, lady, you look white to me. So what are you saying? That you hate the males of your own, you know, your own ethnicity? That doesn't go over very well. And the other thing is, do you think that minority gamers, for some reason, are impressed with this self-flagellation of yours? No, we're really not. So again, that's kind of bigoted to think, okay, well, you know, if we hype up that we didn't use any white people, you know, any white characters. It's just like, please, what happened is, you, again, you didn't read the room because you didn't want to read the room. It's just basically, I want to get points because see how good I am. See how virtuous I am. I'm on the right side of history. I'm an ally. It's like, no, honey, you basically got played. And then when people called you on it, like Blabs and like myself, well, they'll just ignore me because I don't even exist according to uh, according to them. At least that's what Miss Alyssa tried to uh, tried to tell me. It's it's ridiculous. If it was a say or prototype of what they were doing, why did they even have to bring that up? You know? Well, uh, you know, I, th I think that, uh, and this is why I would have loved to have her on the show, right? Because whether or not she feels that way, she, she could at least, I, I would much rather have conversations, and this goes back to the niche gamer conversation we had last week. This goes to here. I would mm -hmm. much rather have these conversations with people than about people. And whenever we have conversations about people, I always try to invite them on because I, I would much rather have those conversations with them. You know, but Jeremy over at the quartering uh, responded to this before she locked it down and said, uh, um, can you let us know why, you're, uh, why you feel it's worth celebrating that the game has excluded, quote, white guys? Uh, why did you think that was an advertising point? She said, I said not a single one of our alpha character demos was white. Three character, uh, three classes, two genders, um, and a... Uh, of three possible male models, none ended white. I thought it was amusing. Demo character, stand-ins, not final. I never said anything about exclusions. Those words were put in my mouth by some twisting, uh, some odd twisting of my tweet. But obviously, the internet doesn't forget these things. And what twisting uh, of a tweet. She literally said, "None." Of, yeah, there it is. None of our yep. starting characters are are white males. Are white males, none out yeah, of six. Twisted, right. Yeah, for IGN France pulled the same bullshit when uh, they were out there talking about the guy who made Stellar Blade. Like, oh, people are misreading what was said. You know, the part where they said that they must have never seen a woman and that right. she's an Asian sex doll. Oh, we're going to get to that in just a second because that was brilliant, brilliant stuff over there. But I did want to take a second and watch her, um, the beginning of this video. Uh, this was a live stream that they did. A couple of days ago, they had one of their early investors on. Um, they have like a, a pre-seed investor on. But before they get into the actual gameplay, um, she goes out of her way to kind of 
to talk about the tweet and stuff. And I, we can kind of take a look. And I, I would like to preface this in that she's going off the top of her head here. I, I think she probably should have had some bullet points, but you can clearly tell that she's just kind of talking off the top of her head. Uh, but with that said, I do think it's worth talking about. So let's watch about three minutes of this. And you guys tell me, tell me uh, at any point if you want me to stop. So here we go. And there's actually something, before we jump into everything, I wanted to kind of address, because there seems to be a little bit of blowback over a tweet that I made earlier this week. Um, I said something, and then it kind of got turned into something else, and then it became even bigger than I ever anticipated or ever wanted. So uh, in full acknowledgement that I might have stepped in something and like upset a few people, Let's just address the elephant in the room. And that is the fact that. Okay. So she is acknowledging that she kind of stepped in something here. Okay. And they're about to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Okay. So what do you think the elephant in the room is? What's the elephant in the room? Lorena, let's start with you. What do you think the elephant in the room is? What's the thing that, that everybody is curious about? Oh, you muted. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to back rack our noise. Um, the elephant in the room to me is it's just like, why are you making it such a big deal that you only that your six characters were not white? OK, Flash, what do you think the elephant in the room is? Do you, do you agree with Lorena? Yeah, she got it. OK. All right. And Blabs, I'd imagine. So it's yeah, probably the tweet. Thing. Probably the tweet. So here we go. But even like Meant beforehand, her wording was a bit weird. She was kind of like, oh, some people are misunderstanding what I said. So it's kind of like she's almost victimizing herself a little bit. Like everyone else misunderstood me. And now she's clarifying. That's how I see it, too. All right. Let's go see see what she says here. I might have stepped in something and like upset a few people. What? Just a few, by the way. Yeah. Let's just address the elephant in the room. And that is the fact that we are a game in early development we've only really built this prototype over so that that was the elephant in the room was that they're that they're a game in early development not the not the tweet not the like and that to me once again it goes back to i would love to have her on be like that that's not the elephant in the room that's not the elephant in the room at all um that seems kind of tone deaf you know like if if you feel like everybody, the elephant in the room is is not that you have a game in early development. The early the elephant in the room was the tweet that you made, that you know that once again she hasn't apologized for it. She's just saying you don't understand what I was trying to say, which that's the way that I'm hearing it. Am I wrong in that? In that this so far? No. No, you're, you're not wrong. I mean, to borrow a, a phrase from Judge Judy, who I love to death, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. That <laughs> is how this starts out with. Like, I might have done something and may have gotten some people upset. To me, that's, again, that's disingenuous completely. We know what the deal is, but you won't say that. So she'll go in and, she, you know, she starts to say, well, we're a small gaming studio. It's like, honey, we didn't criticize the fact that you only had three, six demo characters. No one was talking about, you know, why do you have such a small amount? No one was talking about that particular technical aspect of the game. No one talked about that. What people were pissed about was you basically thumbing your nose and saying, hey, we only have six, you know, six white people. And, you know, we don't have, and all the characters are based, are, I guess, are um, prototype characters. None of them are white. Again, why bring that up? That's right. what people are upset about. So it's like you're kind of, it's like she's, you know, blowing the smoke. Pay no attention to what's going on, you know, behind the curtain. And it and it's insulting. And that's why people will start to tune out. It's like, this isn't an apology. She didn't just say, you know what? I screwed up. I picked the wrong words. I'm sorry. And it gave people the wrong impression. That's not what I was trying to do. Just come out and freaking own it. That's that's pretty much what I told her last night. It's like, look, everybody makes mis everybody makes mistakes, right? Unless she feels like she hasn't made a mistake. Right. And I think that's that's the issue that I have with this, but let's go ahead and continue here. That 
we are a game in early development. We've only really built this prototype over the last, like since last summer, it was seven months of like hard development. And then we've been polishing for GDC ever since, but we don't have every feature in our game. There's a lot more that we want to add and that we are nowhere near. But what we have done is we have built a prototype. And what that means in like the whole game development cycle, you go prototype to alpha to early access, like closed beta to open beta to release. So we're way back at the infancy of the process. So the things that we want, like our character creator literally don't exist. Uh, we had to put in like kind of straightforward characters just to be able to test our gameplay. We started out with just our classes. We have a mage, we have a healer, and we have a warrior. And one of the things that we wanted to prove that it was fun to play as three different roles. And oh, that was uh, tips go typing. around in group. I've and got it needed one. Go so just so you know, you hear guys in the background, they're having audio issues and they're talking, so it's going to mess her up. So dungeons are take on dungeons, take on fights and then take on bosses. And that is what we built for our GDC demo. We actually intend to have one of the most incredible character creators ever seen in games. And one in particular where we have Gen AI to be able to like literally take your face and put it on your character. But we're not there yet. We literally like don't have enough money to do that. We're raising that money. So if you know any investors, please send them our way. I'm happy to take calls. <laughs> Good luck with that. Not after this, you're not. No. <laughs> Rattle that tin cup all you want. Uh-uh. <laughs> Flash, you, you were saying, what you said something before the show about this. Um, do you, oh, 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 I think you said something effective like those, you know, if you're looking for investors, how come all the people that she's pandering to aren't investing in it? Exactly. Yeah. Where are they at? Mm. Right. Where are they at? Yeah, so go continue. But we haven't built it yet. We want players to be able to represent themselves in our game. That's it. Or configure something that looks like nothing like you. But the point is, is that we don't want to exclude anybody from being able to play our game. We actually want to have the most inclusive character creator so that if you wanna be blue, you can, but it just won't look ugly. Right. I mean, we did that at Blizzard. We want to be able to create that level of creativity or offer that level of creativity to our players. So please don't hold out on us yet. We've got a lot more to go and a long road ahead of us to build the game that we imagine. But I still want to apologize for the joke that I made and oh, how joke. it landed poorly. It was a joke. Oh, so hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, I don't think it's really funny to joke about that. No, no, especially no, when it's it not. can be totally taken out of context and especially, anyone can just shred it on the internet and now mm -hmm. look at the results. Good job. Especially in the, in the, in the, like, once again, read the room, right? Mm -hmm. You clearly didn't read the room and there's a time and place for all. Like, I think that jokes are funny. I'm all about inappropriate jokes. I get it. But there's also a time and place for those jokes, right? Especially not now with all the sweet baby ink stuff going no. on. <laughs> That's yeah. terrible. Let's go finish up here. Right. So uh, please, you know, understand that I never meant to exclude anybody whatsoever from our game. That's exactly the opposite of what our intent is because we are making games to bring people together. So there we go. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think we can just kind of open it up right there, um, you know, and blabs what are your thoughts on this you look like you have you have resting i blabs got, I right got something congratulations you played yourself <laughs> think of she played herself and now look at the response that game will probably never see the light of day because of this and, uh, who's gonna invest not in? no one wants to invest in this the people they were catering to don't have money because they live in their basements and they're like blue-haired land whales it, they can't afford the stuff, so it's like, well, who who is your audience? Oh, nobody now. Who's your well, target? Nobody. I, I think that's that's probably the most unfortunate thing about this is mm -hmm. she she thrust the sword into the belly of her game and and and, and she ended it before before they had had a chance, regardless of how how great the game is. Um, 
that's the most unfortunate thing about it. And the game could be spectacular, but they'll always be known as, you know, that that group. And that's unfortunate. Like I said, this is a, this is a, this is a person who has kids and and she's got people relying on her and stuff, which once again goes back to the idea of like, she should have come on, should have come on to talk about this because that way you could answer answer questions about it. And uh, I think that's probably the most infuriating thing about this whole thing is- Or at least uh, just unblock her tweets so that the world can see her actually saying, all right, here's what's up, on my bad. Uh, Instead, she's just hiding. That doesn't do anything either, coward. Well, I'll say this. Not good. You know, the, the invitation is there. If she wants to come on and talk, she can come on tomorrow, she can come on Wednesday, whenever she wants to come on and talk about this. But I do think like, I'm, I'm trying to build a build a fence here, you know, or build a fence, build a bridge here. I'm trying to build a bridge that will allow, like, I don't want to see anybody fail, right? So I, that's, I'm i just, I'm honestly disappointed that she would get guidance for to not come on the show because, and I think that also speaks a lot about the state of, the state of where things are at, where I wonder if she would do an article about, or if she would, uh, be on Kotaku or Polygon, right? Versus mm. side scrollers or the quartering or geeks and gamers, right? Or, or flash or, you know, or whatever. Right. Um, I think that says a lot about the damage that that's, that's there in the space right now. And, uh, the amount of distrust that is, that is there from all sides. Uh, it's, it's really sad. So anyways, uh, we'll keep an eye and I'll, I'll continue my conversation with her. Like I said, the, the, uh, the invitation is open. Lorena, you got anything on that before we close? Did you uh, have any any closing thoughts on that? Um, my only closing thought is she tried to go for an apology and in the end wound up with a uh, sales pitch. You know, I don't even think she tried to go for an apology. I, at, at no point. Uh, she, she said, you know, her apology. And I want to make sure I get this right because she said, I want to apologize for this joke that didn't hit. It yeah, wasn't it's, like, a, it's a non-apology apology is what right. I like to, what I like to call these sorts of things. Right. Yeah. Well, have you got anything on that before we, before we move on? No, she, like I said, she shot herself in the foot and instead of actually addressing everything, she's like, Oh, we're just really small like that. No, no, no. Flash? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to looking at the steam charts. If that game comes out, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Low suicide squad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on. We've got another quick hit here before we get into the uh, the IGN stuff. Um, one quick hit here, as yesterday was Easter, and of course, there's always got to be one company that, speaking of shooting itself in the foot, that goes out and panders. And yesterday, that was Bioware. Oh uh, yes, they came out with this tweet. Uh, Blabs, go ahead and read that off if you would. All right, so Bioware says, <clears throat> today is Transgender Day of Visibility. Trans people have always been a part of our worlds. We're proud to support them both within our games and in real life. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> By the I'll way, show those comments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, mm. And it's That's almost so like shocked. they knew. It's almost like they knew before oh, they, they knew. Of course they did. <laughs> Now, question, who is that character, by the way? Is that a trans character? They just threw in a man. and was like, look, he's trans now. <laughs> well, what's what's amazing about this is that when you scroll down, there isn't a happy Easter post, right? Sure. You want to like you want to put this out there. Cool. How about not alienating? I don't know. <laughs> like, now, how about yeah. we pump those layoff numbers up? Yay. Let's <laughs> pump them up. Get rookie numbers. Nine percent. Oh, no, no, no. We're about to get those numbers pumped up to 20. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop. Well, there you go. Um, happy Easter, everybody. Yeah, but it's not the first time. So I watched this video from uh, Leave the Lightning this morning. Apparently, Bioware has been on like this crusade for years about all this pride LGBT. And it's fascinating to see that they're just not stopping like these other companies. They're just nosediving in. It's like, know your audience. Pay attention. This is the same thing with all gaming industry, by the way. Know your audience. Who's paying and who's not? And then you'll be successful. It's really not that hard. Know well, your audience. Well, but to, to uh, quote uh, the Joker, it's not about the money. It's about the message. Mm. 
And that's the difference that you can see between independent studios that are just like killing it with video games and AAA studios that are just like screwing up at every single turn, disrespecting gamers at every single freaking turn because they just don't care. They are so invested in the message rather than well, they're gonna the gamers. Learn. Oh, yeah. They're going to learn. They, uh, there's a lot going on in AAA gaming right now. Microsoft just announced big layoffs. Sony, EA, Ubisoft, they're all laying off people. So keep it up. You know, I, I love doing videos on these layoffs. So <laughs> I would love to do another one. I'd like to do one every week. These companies will learn eventually because that ESG money is not so sweet anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, these 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 games they make take a lot a lot of money to make, a lot of money. So uh, keep it up, keep keep it up. Um, I do want to read off a few of these super chats. You guys have come in in a, in a major major way. Sna uh, Snapple Rai Rai came in with the one hundred dollar super chat blabs. It says I'd like to make an attempt to unlock blabs and make That's a so request. Oh no! <laughs> Can I have you sing "City Escape" by Crush Forty, aka the Sonic Adventure Two Stage One theme, in an angelic accent? What is uh, that? From verse to chorus. Let's go. <laughs> What is that? What is that? No, seriously, what is that? And like, why did you need to unlock unlock me? What but you've been unlocked, Blabs. I don't like the way this sounds. I'm not gonna lie. Well, you're gonna you, you got to do a little bit of singing right there, which is which is great. Thank you so much. So much. Well, Snapple, you're gonna right, sing right. too, Craig. No, I'm not. Yes, you uh, are, because Zim on Locals gave a hundred dollar tip, saying not always around, but. Do the best support when I can. Craig's a great guy, and I still have the letter from the care package you sent me when I was overseas. Such a great guy. He'll sing Ballad of Chasey Lane by the Bloodhound Gang for us. Oh, no. All right. Ballad so, uh, of... If I'm going down, so oh, are you, the... bro. <laughs> Where he wants to eat her ass is the course. <laughs> what? I know that song. <laughs> It's a Chasey oh, Lane. It's Lord a have she's mercy. a porn star, and the guy it's a simp song about how he wants to eat her ass. Oh no! Yes, it's on the I same album. It's on the same album with uh, "We're All in the Animal Kingdom." So let's do it like the animals uh -huh. do. You know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So here's the problem with that. Oh, Blaze, did I lose you? No. Okay, sorry. I thought she disappeared for a second. Here's Where'd the problem with that. Is that uh, I have two daughters that are home today, and I don't want to sing this very loud. Uh oh, so, so how that. about you whisper it instead? Do some ASMR yeah. for him. Yeah, that we'll do that in a little bit. Thanks, Zim. Right. Appreciate you. I'll help you, Zim. Uh, Britt came in says the elephant she is addressing is not only not in one, it, not uh, in the room. It's not in the same city. That's nope. right. <laughs> that is one hundred percent truth about that. Thank you, Britt. Appreciate that. You're going on the wall as well. And Britt came in with another $50 super chat. So it wow. seems that it seems like this lady got what she wanted, attention, whether it's negative or positive. She got eyes on her fledgling company so she can ask for handouts. And that's exactly what she did in her quote-unquote clarification. Britt, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, genuinely appreciate that, Britt, with, the, with two 50s right there. Ridiculous. Wow. Um, right, we do have some songs to sing, but before we get to those, and uh, we, we we still have to hit all of our uh, April Fool's Day stuff, all of our jokes there. I mean, I got so many people to put on the wall, including Snapple, Rai Rai, Zim, and Britt. Well, we'll while you some... do that, let me just say that yes. Batman turned 85 on Saturday, March 30th. So happy birthday, Batman. And today, Phil oh, Collins' wow. birthday also. I believe he's 71 or 73 now. Let me see. But yes, Phil Collins is 70, guys. 73, wow. yes, 73 years old to Phil Collins. So happy birthday to Batman and Phil Collins. You've never seen him in the same room. Maybe they're the same. You don't know. Happy birthday to Batman and Phil Collins. Right. Yeah, did you say Fat Man? No, I said Batman. I'm oh, saying. I heard Fat Man. I was like, oh my God, how dare you? You sit down. I mean, you're already sitting, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Instead of the Chasey Lane song, I, I wish they would have picked the lap dance is always better when the stripper is crying. 
What? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. another song from the album. <laughs> it's a funny line. It's funny. All right, let's get, uh, we do see all your super chats. We'll get to every single one of those before the show is over. All the uh, direct donations and rumble rants as well. We'll get to those guys. Uh, but first, you know, should we talk about this IGN thing? This IGN uh, Stellar Blade thing? Yeah, we will. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Bounding into Comics. This was happening over the weekend, happened after our show finished up, where IGN France, not IGN San Francisco, but IGN San France came in and uh, scrambles to backpedal after writing off Stellar Blade protagonist Eve as a, quote, as, quote, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Um, this was pretty funny to see uh, as they wrote this it's up. It's almost as funny as Planet Fitness uh advertising on bounding into comics <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <sighs> awesome um but you continue here as uh as grums puts out over on over on x and says uh ign revises history pretends sjw is never trash bayonetta uh in your your aut uh, automata uh, how do you say that near automata near automata yes there it is i can't i've never automata? been able to say that yeah um so they go, they go and they talk about it. Uh, but it's it's kind of it's amazing because at the end of the day, as Grums points out, <laughs> here is the model that it was based after a real woman. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure, that's not AI, Craig. Uh, no, actually, I'm not. But I am just going to throw it out there and be like, I, I do think that this is a, a real a real person getting it a real. Is. <laughs> she looks great. It is. Damn. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. And you got this over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's one of those things where um, you have you have a, a, a quote unquote journalist over here uh, spouting this stuff off that and then just absolutely getting ratioed, just absolutely getting ratioed and destroyed for for their just tone deaf uh, take on it. It's It's really, really pretty amazing. So. Congratulations, IGN. Once again, another reason why we need to take games back. Go to takegamesback.com and uh, let's, let's take this thing back, baby. All right. Um, we're, running, we're running up on time today. Uh, but, so I want to get to all the super chats. But before we do, I do want to make sure we hit all of our, all of our uh, wonderful April Fool's jokes that have been passed around. Over the last, put together a list here. And apparently, by the way, we have a new host coming on the show, which is great. Uh, congratulations to uh, to to Meme Bastard who came in and uh, <laughs> going to be a new host of the show apparently. Gaming so. accessories, also. <laughs> it's like great. Those Mad Cats controllers. <laughs> so congratulations. Uh, maybe we'll actually. You know what? Let's bring them on. <laughs> <laughs> Next Tuesday, we'll just book them in. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Let's let's just do it. He, he, okay. You have the balls to put it out there. Why not? Let's bring them on. Let's reach out to them. Hey, you got to play. He's he, a mean he, bastard. You got to be careful because he'll turn his camera. <laughs> he'll turn his camera on, and it'll just be a giant cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Well, you know, I, you got to swing. You got to take the swing, and you got to go. Uh, he'll swing. Craig, you walked right into that one. Yeah, by swinging. Yeah, ah. uh, I know what you're going for. <laughs> Lads, what what is what is this? Something going on on uh, on Instagram today? What's yeah, it? so this is the official Harry Potter account, and they took it over with Draco Malfoy, and all they're doing is posting Draco Malfoy posts, and basically they said, we are a Draco Malfoy stan account now. I mean, it's funny. I don't do that, but it's funny for all the young kids out there who are, like, big Draco Malfoy fans. Like, oh, my God, my time has to come, and everything, yeah. <laughs> How Slytherin rules. There's House Slytherin, and then there's everybody else. You yeah, see, this is now a Draco Malfoy stan account. So for one day only, all they're doing is posting <laughs> Draco Malfoy photos. I think that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> they're trolling everyone. <laughs> And then we got this from Dan Vask. Blabs, I'll let you read that. All right. <clears throat> uh, Dan Vask's game. Truth is, guys, I'm tired. It started as a fun joke, but slowly my friendship with Gary started to deteriorate for real. He constantly takes things too far, and I must confess, the constant barrage of insults and disrespect did damage my mental health, as well as my willingness to maintain this charade. So that's it. I'm officially giving up. I need some time for myself. I made a video explaining it better. And when you click on the video, it takes you to uh, a Rickroll, which is great. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's actually his him singing Rick, Rick Ross, so it's even better. Oh, is it? That's great. Oh, he it. did was, do that song. I forgot yeah, a year ago, that. and so he's like recycling it, but it works. Yeah, it's good stuff. Then we have Kick over here offering uh, offering a fake. I'm, I'm assuming this is fake. Oh, it as, has to be. As a song, what, what's his name? What's this guy's name? Again? Hassan Piker. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, he's now joining Kick, but it's 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 fake. Is it? Guy hates his job so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hard. Tough. Then we saw uh, this one from IGN as well. IGN came out. They, now I will I will tell you this. IGN definitely puts effort into into their April Fool's jokes on an annual basis. Uh, and this year they announced the exclusive Virtual Boy Pro revealed. So uh, here we are. Let's let's mm-hmm. check out their video. It's like cardboard. That's cool. That would be so cool to play Mario in like your character. Yeah. I do agree. I think that'd be pretty sweet. There you go. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, Lorraine is all about this. Let's go. That's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh my god, that's me. Huh. Okay. That's me every day. <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. That'd be funny. Yeah, it's good stuff. They, yeah, I do appreciate that they do put effort into yeah. it. You know? So, and they've done that last uh, last few years for sure. And as pointed out, it says this is a parody. This is not a real product. Although, mm-hmm. you know, nobody's whatever. gonna read that. <laughs> One day it probably won't be. Then we have. Um, to be clear, you said that there was an uh, flash. You said there was an article about this tweet that went up. Elon yeah, Musk deadline. said, "Excited to join Disney as their chief DEI officer. Can't wait for more. Uh, can't wait to work with Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy to make their content more woke. <laughs> Even the linguini. Linguini. <laughs> linguini. Yeah, there was a deadline article, and they were like, we. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So uh, deadline article that went up about that, and uh, because Elon Musk is the devil." So, mm-hmm. uh, and then we have this one from our friend uh, Az over at Heels versus Babyface, which we still need to have him on the show. That'd be so great. Uh, so, it's great news: Heels versus Babyface will be teaming up with Black Girl Gamers and Sweet Baby Inc. to create the most inclusive and diverse YouTube channel ever. Black Black Sweet Babyface Gamers Inc. Uh, we want to be a part of the experience. All you need, all you need to be, is a black female, age eighteen to fifty. Hate gamers, exclusion of white males encouraged. Hate anyone with a different voice than yourself. Heroes must include Kamala Harris, uh, St. Jesus, George Lionheart Floyd, <laughs> and, AO, AO, and AOC, pro-segregation, pro-communism, pronouns in bio, anti-meritocracy, <laughs> and the ability to turn any white character black. Sign up today! <laughs> so, uh, obviously, that's not real. That's Although, a sweet would baby untagged themselves from it. I is that, is that what happened? Is that what they did? They... Yeah, if, you, if the person untags themselves, the it's not highlighted anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Um, well, then we also have this one here, which which may be the biggest, this may be the most crazy thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, this is this may be the best April Fool's joke ever. This is from the uh um National Organization for Women, by the way. Saying, repeat after us, weaponizing womanhood against other uh, other women is white supremacist patriar- patriarchy at work. Making people believe there isn't enough space for trans women in sports is white supremacist patriarchy at work. Oh, like I'm sorry, that, that, white that, women too. I'm sorry, that's actually that's actually a real article. Uh, sorry. Oh yeah, that's like not... it's that's all white women too. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, there you go. I just thought that I thought I'd finish up with, with that one because it's like, ugh. It, it's very hard to tell what's actually real 
than what's actually well paid. in Scotland today for April first, just ironically for April Fool's Day, it is now illegal to say anything against like trans people. So J.K. Rowling, who's been saying no, women deserve safe spaces. She could get arrested for saying that now. Make her but that's not that's not even a joke. That's like legit what's going on in, in Scotland. Make yeah. her a martyr. That's what's mm-hmm. gonna happen. Yeah. Yeesh. Um, with that said, Flash, these are these are women who are actually protecting against the uh, these are women who like this is Riley Gaines. She's a swimmer who competed against uh, the uh, the trans swimmer and all that stuff. So these these are the girls who actually oh, okay, like I see girls now. in sports. So, so. I see now. Um, but, but it is usually see, uh, all white women. Like they're the first ones to champion all this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I and mean, they're the first mm-hmm. person like if Lorena was saying, well, actually, they would tell her to shut up. By like promoting some black cause, it'd be funny. Because mm-hmm. because they know better than you, you know. That's that's it. At the end of the day, yeah, this is why I laugh yeah. at that. What is it? That New York City women getting punched thing. Oh, like yeah. They all voted for all the shit going on. Every one of them probably stood up, talked about how great cash reform bail is, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, you know now you're reaping what you sowed. Well, let's just go and start read off, reading off some of these wonderful super chats, guys. Thank you again for your support today. Uh, well, genuinely let me appreciate pick that. It up locals, because locals is popping right now. So it's Zim no sent a fifty dollar tip, saying, "As a huge fan of Mass Effect with over one thousand hours in all four games, Bioware is going to destroy the game franchise I held closest to my heart, and that makes me sad." Then he followed up with a $20 tip saying, let's fucking go, Flash, you're my boy. Well, listen, Flash doesn't like Harry Potter, so no. And then... I don't not like Harry Potter. I'm (laughs) mostly just teasing you. And then Zim ended with another $50 tip saying, Flash, you get the choice. Whatever Bloodhound Gang song from now on, happy to hear someone so appreciates them as much as me. (laughs) Thanks, Zim. Appreciate you, my man. I'll get you back up on the wall. That's awesome. Thank you very much for your support today. That is uh, massive, huge. And uh, Blabs, why don't you read this off from Lance here while I put Zim on the wall. All right. Lance says, hey, Craig, what would you regard as the video game equivalent of not watching The Lord of the Rings? Oh, that's a good question. Ooh, that is a good question. Um, playing Mario, probably. Playing Any Mario, Mario or Zelda. Yeah, like it, just not being familiar with that. Any any mainline uh, franchise from Nintendo, for sure. Yeah, great question, Lance. Bizarre star, Harry Potter, what is that? Like Twilight? Shut up! It's nothing related, and you know what? I never even saw Twilight until I was like 25, 26 years old. I surpassed all that. I'm cool. I know. Um, Be the silent games. I ate some pancakes, and you didn't even invite us. That's Let's fun. go, BT. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, Uriah of the House right. If you want to watch Harry Potter, watch Mashal Magic and Muscle. I've actually seen almost all of season one, but it was getting so dragged out, it kind of bored me. It's an anime show. Cody, Craig never saw Lord of the Rings. Skip Skyrim, didn't you? Oh. Oh, did yep. you skip Skyrim? Yep. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. All right, Nissan, leave Craig alone. He creates content. Leave yeah. consumptions to nerds. <laughs> no, no. Right, Nissan, you let her know. I've even tried Skyrim. God damn, Craig. All right, Noodles, I love the Harry Potter movies. But let's be real, Hermione was the real MVP in the movies because they gave all of Ron Weasley's lines to her. It's fine. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Lorena. You, you're my only hope here. These men don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, always hey listen a dick that's what? what it comes down to every time every time it's always about that it's always about the dick yeah, always we, we, vote for me is a vote for boobs <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> anyway he, uh enoch Maman, abuser of streamlabs for five dollars Harry Potter's for children. No, it's not. It's okay that a grown man didn't see it when it came out now back to my lord of the rings related harassment <laughs> Stop it, just children. That's what Miriam Margulis says. Ugh. For the Emperor, Blabs, I've read the books, and Voldemort is a retarded villain. I don't think you read them well enough. That's all I have to say about that. Elite Neo says Grindelwald is a less than Voldemort. Was greater, less than Voldemort. What the hell? Mm-mm. No. Okay. <laughs> no. 
Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Dante Rage for five dollars. Holy shit, I loved Oregon Trail. Never found it outside of school computers, and I thought I knew the limits of my retardation. <laughs> I guess not. And then he came back and says, survival and crafting games are so overrated. Eh, they're all right. It depends Thanks, on Dante. what you want to play. I don't like crafting games that much. That's half the. St- that's one of the reasons yeah, I don't like Cal World that much. Mm, yeah, I Craig, like, you I like, like Cal World. Shut up, Labs. That's what I thought, Craig. Cal <laughs> divers, I just put my gear on, drop down, murder some robots and bugs. Done. I hate Fortnite. I'm just gonna say <gasps> she's one of, us. I, I'm one, one of us. I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you, Lorena. You can stay. I like you. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> All right, I gotta blow myself up. <clears throat> well, I was a tower retired for two dollars. You should look up the Devil Duck from World War II. I don't know what that is, but thank you. Um, Dante say, says the only the only ducks that matter. Up. Well, fine, go look it up, Craig. The only ducks that matter are the Mighty Ducks. I like that movie. That's a good movie. Right. You see uh, Mighty Ducks? Yeah. Yes, I have. When I was a child. Oh, okay. When I saw Lord of the Rings, oh. also. I saw it last week. It was great. For the first time ever? No, Mighty Ducks. I've seen that like 7,000 times. Oh, I was going to say, Jesus Christ, Craig. Awesome. <laughs> Lance for four ninety nine. Hey, Blabs, fun fact about ducks. The feathers are covered with a waterproof oil, and they possess corkscrew genitalia as they bite their mate's neck. I did know about the corkscrew bit. Hmm, I, I worked wonderful. with ducks before. That's why. <laughs> um, all right. This one's for Craig to read. Go on, Craig. Read the super chat name. Yo, Craig and Flash, will you be on uh, VR stream tonight? You missed the name. I'm a little farty little. I, I'm a farty little daddy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> gonna be on, are you going to be on Valiant Renegades uh, stream tonight, Flash? It's probably probably won't be able to. No. So uh, just just so you know, Valiant Renegade, uh, they will I'll be, be listening. Re- yes, they'll be responding to the uh, the lawsuit. From Black Girl Gamers, and yes. that's going to be very interesting. So uh, I may or may not. I probably well, will be on it. Five Central. So yeah, six Eastern. Six Eastern. I'll be on that stream. Oh, six o'clock. Yeah, I can't. If it was at, if it's if it's still going after eight, I'll jump on. Holy shit! Zim just sent another fifty dollar tip. Woo! He says, the pancakes reminded me, Craig. I got my package from Blue Bonnet. They are awesome. I'm not sure it'll take time for my 26-year-old knees and back to stop feeling like I'm 60. The Sleepy Time gummies are awesome, and I don't want it to KMS every morning. This message was not sponsored. Hey, Zim, appreciate that. So I, I have not talked about this on Side Scrollers yet, but uh, I-, I might as well since Zim brought it up. I- I've had this, and I haven't... I've talked about it on, a- on gaming streams or whatever, but uh, I been holding off on this for a while you notice actually my shirts i've worn this shirt several times but i i'm launching uh and i didn't want to announce this in the last couple weeks because because take games back and i didn't want to you know but i might as well since he mentioned it i launched a uh a new supplement company called blue bonnet blue bonnet supplements Uh, if you guys go to bluebonnetsupplements.com it's all gummies right now Uh, you see the joint and bone gummies and stuff and um i'm really really proud of it really excited for it so uh it was inspired by the uh by just working in the gaming space, like I'm 42 years old and I'm being sold Doritos and Mountain Dew. And it's like, hey, how about we just take a little bit of accountability for our bodies now and start getting the things in it that need to need to get in it. And anyways, if you go to bluebonnetsupplements.com, you can uh, you can learn learn about it. Um, the website's up there. You can pick them up if you want to. Just learn more about it. And if, uh, you know, I'll talk more about this later, but uh, it's it's all about taking accountability. That's what this is about. This, this needs to be a, uh, this is, about taking that first step and uh, treating your body right. So uh, it's over at bluebonnetsupplements.com. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, all right. Middle Andrew for five says, Thor from Pirate Software explained Helldivers very well. You are a single unit in RTS. Mm-hmm. Dan says, I played Power World on Series X. Didn't care for it. Hmm. Oh, well. I think the crafting is going to turn people off. Yeah, if you're not it, like like I'm not a big Minecraft person for that reason. I was just like, eh. Steiner math for five dollars. Craig, I know what you're saying, but she was throwing deibs out there for clout using her game for virtual signal. She's already tanked her game. Yep, correct. I, I don't I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you at all. By the way. 
Enoch Lamont, abuser of Streamlabs, says, let the record show that Irina said that there are only two genders. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself again. <laughs> Mercenary, get Creole to get WDW Pro to interview. Great guy. Interesting that you should mention that, Mercenary uh, X21. I am actually part of that Park Place network. So not only um, have I interviewed Pro before, I actually work along uh, alongside of them. That's awesome. So yeah. you know all the secrets and stuff. Yes, yeah. secrets. She's got all the secrets. And tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Why not panda to white dudes? Have you seen Gatches? 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 Oh, I just think of the Japanese gotcha, gotcha thingies. Anyway, um, Steiner Math says, how do you keep shoveling dirt on your game's grave? Zero accountability, ignorance, and gaslighting. It's not 2018 anymore, so we see through this crap. Correct. Right. I, th I think that's the biggest thing now is is the internet is speaking up when they see this nonsense. Like, mm -hmm. hey, it's not, a, it's not cool to discriminate against white people, black people, you know, when, men, women, or whatever. Like, we're done with it. We're kind of done with it, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Fire away. Blackout says that's because women are fundamentally hostile to male sexuality that they don't value. Everything that is generous to its own desires and hostile to ours is connected with this instinct. Okay. Blackout. <laughs> Darth Dragon. Mm. Hello, side scrollers. Just letting Craig and Blabs know I've sent them gifts via mail. It should be arrive on Friday. Hope you enjoy them. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, we got our PO box down in the description if anybody wants to send us anything nice. Nothing bad, though. You got mail. Um, Dante Rage for five says, Mage, warrior, healer. Okay, make a rogue technician in a wheelchair bound retard that can never go upstairs. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Mike, you, fuck you, whitey. Invest our game, pretty please. Yeah, correct. <laughs> uh, you need to read this one, Craig. Sunny says, Blabs for vice president. That's not what it says. It's the president. <laughs> Driver Merchant says, shut up and code. So Aiden came in with the 10 says, hey, guys, I, I worked this past Saturday, pre-ordered Stellar Blade, went to a mini festival to support my friend's small business and watch baseball and hockey to end the night. Let's go, Aiden. That sounds like a great Saturday. Wow. Love that. Cladex came in as a member for four months, says this game, the first game to commit Sudoku, Sudoku before release. Sudoku? It's not I think Sudoku, they right? meant Sepuku. Yeah. I think that's what they meant. Yeah, the sub. Yeah, yeah Sepuku. Yeah. Right. Sepuku. Or Sudoku. Right. I like the idea of meeting Sudoku. It's funny. Uh, Dante says, I'm all for supporting, uh, I'm all for supporting, quote, reporting any post that supports trans stuff for child abuse. Go ahead, Dante. Do it. Cody says, uh, Resurrection Sunday will always be Christ alone. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate Amen. that. Matthew came in and says, we're so lucky to have uh, Lorena Crail. I'll, I'll, I'm going to say Lor Lorena uh, on today. Uh, she brings <laughs> some class to the show. Thanks for coming on the show. That's right. So much class. Thank you. Thank you. Look at, look at this class, right? Look at that class right there. Class, class, class. <laughs> Lorena, we're glad you're here. We're glad you joined us today. It's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Aiden came back says, question, the trans people uh, already got Pride Month, but why uh, But why they want to have another day, especially during Easter? I don't hate the trans people, by the way. Because well, Aiden, they I, want you thinking about this shit all the time. Mm -hmm. I saw that Adam. there is a... Yeah, that list, right? Mm -hmm. You're talking about that yeah. list? Adam all Kruger the dates. that? It's like they have, a, there's like a day for everything. It was 42% of the year. 42 percent mm -hmm. of the year was was hit by by uh that let me see if i can pull this up really quick yeah it was 156 days for 42.46 percent of the of the of the year was just various Damn. days throughout Shoot. the year you know and it's like 156 days 42 percent of the year that's just crazy to think about Demo says, "Milkman here. <laughs> Enjoy the work you do, folks. Along, uh, along with Ripa as Nerd Roddick and all the beautiful folks in the gaming community. Lorena rocks. Thank we you. know it. Thank you." Dante came back says, "Asians know how real women look. Big old boobies." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that nobody guy says, "So is Gambit more Creole or Cajun?" He is definitely Cajun. You hear him say "share" all the time. That's Cajun. 
the worthy one says, every time I hear the layoffs are, are happening within AAA gaming, I hear Kevin Hart says, you going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Man. That's a great, great bit. You know, it, let's see if you can find that. You're going to learn today from Kevin Hart. That'd be great. Aiden says, Hiker's a punk. I won't apologize. Don't. Desiree came in and says, I remember Bud Light announced Dylan Mulvaney being an influencer right around April Fool's, and I thought for sure it was April Fool's. Wild. Well, that is not the case, unfortunately. And they saw billions of dollars of revenue lost. Planet Apple Fitness Virus. Is, is making the same uh, kind of learn lessons there. You're going to learn today. Uh, Snapple Ride Ride came back and says, by the way, Blabs, I got the term unlocked from Street Fighter uh, Fighting Game Community Pro. Uh, Justin Wong. It means to unlock your potential. There Isn't you go. Justin That's... Wong the one who can't sing? No, just I don't. Uh, Justin Wong is a is kind of a legend in the gaming space in the in the Street Fighter space. There's the guy who can't sing, and there was like the whole thing for like was it Mortal Kombat or whatever. Wait, I no, thought DSP no. was the Street Fighter legend. <laughs> yeah. Fight, fight, fight. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, it's April Fools. That's right. Um, the Hylian Gigolo, Juggalo came in and says, Joe got excommunicated by, by an ant archbishop for that Easter move. Did he really? Uh, I don't think he did, but... No. Uh, the Martian B says, receive my shirt, let's go! Yes! Excellent! Thank you so much, the Martian B. Once again, a quick reminder that we only have 50 of these left throughout the entire month of Mar uh, month of April. These side scrollers, All-Stars Limited Edition T available right now until they're gone. Only 50 remaining. Go pick one up right now. Uh, I really like that shirt, people. Craig. What's that? Right. I really like that shirt. Just so saying. cool. You want one? I want one. Yeah, send it to me. I would okay. Yeah, send me one, Craig. No, Blabs, you don't get one. Flash, you want one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, absolutely. I'll, I'll make sure. Listen, Lorena, you want one? I certainly do. Thank you. Let's yes. go. All awesome. right. I'll make sure everybody gets one except for Blabs. But Aww. you can pick one up. Link in the description down below. Pick them up right now. Only 50. Well, I guess only 48 left because Lorena's going to get one and Flash is going to get one. Definitely not Blabs, though. Damn so, it. Uh, <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Link is in the description down below. Brett came in and called me an idiot. He says there was a 50 from Brett and a 50 from me. Brett, just clear that off. Anyways, here's another 20 since I've been lurking for so long. Hey, Brett. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Look at that. Look at that. Brett. 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 Look at it right there. Thank you very much. That's excellent. I'm going to get you on the wall. Blabs, read that off. Oh, yeah. It says I vote for Blabs. I agree. 100%. Listen, where's the titty thing? There vote it is. for me is a vote for boobs. <laughs> um Sonny says these DEI consultants have been slithering in our industry for far too long. As Samuel Jackson said, I'm sick of these motherfucking consultants in my motherfucking video games. Also, Blabs for president and vote for boobas. We gotta do it. Vote for me is a vote for boobs. <laughs> Titties. Thank you. Thank we you, just have a whole log of just like boobs and tits. I like your take on boobies. <laughs> they are great. I gotta laugh because in the South, it's much more common to just say titties. <laughs> titties. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Greta got angry at us. <laughs> you got so mad. How dare you? Just Dan mad. says, don't care about Fortnite. Money hungry skins. Correct. They're like Thanks, 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy stuff. But speaking of crazy, you go, Craig. Let's go. Thank you, crazy. Hey, thanks. Hey, crazy T, appreciate you. Elite Neo. Bobs, you read my super chat wrong. It was Grindelwald is greater than Voldemort. Is greater than, not less than. Oh, sorry. I'm stupid. But um, you know he's not. Mm -mm. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> um, Daniel Rude for ten dollars. Y'all should get this guy on the show. He's master TDS. Oh, we know him. He and his wife run a channel with, called Gothic Therapy on YouTube. He's done masterful work exposing all the mouse corp bot activity. Thank you, Daniel. Yes. Yeah, we, we need to get him on. He's been doing good work with that. Mm -hmm. Very good work. Nissan says Twilight. Which greater than that? greater than Harry Potter. <laughs> Dude, I haven't no, used these signs in ages. There. At least Twilight like, can make no. you laugh. No. Twilight is horrific. I've, Twilight is... I've only fallen asleep yeah. at the movies one time, and it was during that... It's the only one I've seen. It's that second Twilight movie where they're just running around the woods the whole time. It's awful. And it's, Fucking it's, garbage movie. It's bad for 
for girls too because what does she do? She gets a heartbroken, then she just cries in the forest for like what three months. Who's this sad? Not get over yourself. You're a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man. She's like, <laughs> no. I remember the entire movie. They were in the woods, and I fell asleep, and then I woke up, and they were in like, uh, uh where were they? They were in uh, like France or something. And like Kristen or Stewart Greece. is just like, that's it. That's it. And then she's like, I'm reading. Like, stop. <laughs> Be a normal human. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that now. <laughs> you know, Ramon, Craig has never seen Harry Potter, but he's seen the magical side of the magical side of magical. <laughs> You can say the movie. You can say Negroes. Say it. We can magical say it. Soci the Society of Magical, magical Negroes. Negroes. Yeah, it's in the title. It's a real movie title. You can I say didn't want to say anything. I don't want to get canceled today. Shut what up, a sick comedy you, you, degenerate. No, 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 no. Blabs, you can't be canceled. You're saying the title of a movie. It's yeah, in a movie. Know. I anyway. will write you a pass if you yes. need it. <laughs> Thank you. See? All right, look at that. Magical Society of Magical Negroes. Oh my, did you hear that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a sick comedy to Jenner. The name of the movie. <laughs> oh. How dare you? I'm just gonna, the, the, the hater cat's just going to clip and like, oh, she said this live. <laughs> oh, Lorena, thanks for being her shield. Appreciate that. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Um, Rob Mad says, Hey, Craig, I heard both DSP and Rich want to bury the hatchet and come back to side scrollers. They're gonna start talking like Melanie, too. That must be <laughs> April Fools. April Fools, that's right. Remember for nine months. Thank you. And then Rem Dog, the one I thought was April Fools when Albuquerque, aka Triple A baseball team, became the wait for isotopes. Oh, really? What? Yeah, oh, yeah, from The Simpsons. That's great. I don't even want to just read. Okay, thanks, Rem Dog. Appreciate that. It's good. Cyan Gorilla came in with the five. Says, "Hey, all, you should get Tom Fulp for the uh, for that possible uh, Chris Gore Gaming Magazine stream. Tom is the founder of Newgrounds. Yes, I I know Newgrounds very well, which started as a Neo Geo fanzine. Uh, Tom's great insight into video games. Also a great guy. Uh, Cyan Gorilla, do me a favor, tweet Tom Fulp's Twitter to me. And yes, I would love to have him on. So just to be clear, we're gonna do the uh, we are gonna do a magazine gaming stream while we're in Vegas." It'll be myself, Jeremy, and Chris Gore as we, uh, we're we going to talk about all sorts of gaming magazines while we're out there. It'll probably be on Thursday. I think it's going to be on Thursday the 11th, I think. So uh, next Thursday. Thank you so much, Cyan Gorilla. Appreciate that. And uh, Calvin Wick came in and says, I'm playing Silver Blade right now, and it's fabulous. And hello, Yellow Flash and Lorena. Also, Jessica Negri is still an active cosplayer and cosplay judge. She's in she's in Instagram and YouTube, and still cosplays at cons. Her cosplay is now as sexy as ever. Thank you, Calvin. Appreciate that. John came in and says, Lorena is so cool. Please bring her back on. Thank, Thank you, John. Thank you. She'll come back on. That's great. Uh, Abdulio says, once again, throwing my vote to get Dimitri Monroe on the show. He's been covering the tampering done by American local localization localizers on uh, Japanese media, uh, Japanese media, be it games, movies, animes, as well as some general game reviews. Uh, Dimitri Monroe, well, let's write him down. You're going to love that. He's uh, actually already on the list. Oh, good. Fear the Tardo says, no boat for Gabs for resident. Boat for Tardo, uh, not only save chest cushions, but promise build Lego wall to keep out ill beagle immigrant imminence. Uh, help Tardo make America lock it. Yay. Again. <laughs> lock it in. Yay. Again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I like fear the beard. I played uh, Hell Divers with him. Beard was great, man. Yeah. Beard was great. So uh, Zim six. sent another locals tip. Sorry to interrupt, but he sent another locals tip for twenty bucks this time. And he says Piker should have just let Sam Hyde kill him in the ring. His career would have gotten more views than his dumbass live stream would have in, in a lifetime. And maybe he'd stop crying like a baby back bitch. That a boy Zim, you're on fire today, buddy. <laughs> uh, Sixty Watts says Stellar Blade demo released on Friday, and all I can say is get get of the year 2024. Um, Oh, it says G-Y-A-T-T -T of the year. Go. 2024. Um, Grace of all we all, time. We all know it won't be nominated for Game of the Year unless we take games 
back. Let's try to go to takegamesback.com and learn more about it. More information coming very, very soon. Been busy. CG Hero says, Craig, if you uh, if you want to get into anime, you should start with Yellow Flash's favorite anime, Slam Dunk. No. <laughs> no. I've never seen that one. CG says, uh, in the way... I- <laughs> I, I I couldn't I didn't pick up on that based on your response. Yeah, and you seemed Matt. really enthusiastic, to be honest. It's very <laughs> surprising. <laughs> CG Hero says, in a way, I envy you, Craig, since you get to watch Lord of the Rings trilogy for the first time. The first is my favorite, but they're all amazing. Looking forward to seeing you watch them on locals. Yes, that's coming up over on the 17th Wednesday. So uh three Wednesdays from now. 16 the 17th. Days. Yes, uh, I'll be watching the Lord of the Rings for the first time over at sidescrollers.locals.com. We're going to be doing more stuff over there. You can become a member for free over there. If you want to support, awesome. If you don't, just sign up. And you'll get notifications whenever the show goes live. Uh, CG Hero says, Stella Blade looks good, but the Chad move is to wait for PC version with mod support. There you go. <laughs> and das, das Pop says, Cope and Seed Blabs. Harry only beat Voldemort because Big V wasn't the owner of the Elder Wand. Told her, told her bitch made, uh, told bitch made wid for Harry. Are you kidding me? Did we not have the whole Horcruxes thing? He couldn't be killed because he split his soul seven and accidentally made eighth because of Harry. Das Pooch in his lives says, damn, Mortal Kombat 3 is 29, nostalgia overload. <laughs> Nothing beats the energy of the crowds at Big Arcade when competition was high on MK2, MK3, Super Street Fighter 2, and Killer Instinct Machines. It was wild, Das Pooch. You know what's going on. I love it. Uh, dude says not every game needs a second job. Uh, not e- not every game needs to be a second job game game journalist. Uh, most games are meant to be played indefinitely. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that greatly. Sorry, plabs. You just, nah, you sometimes, suck. sometimes you just start going, and I just gotta gotta reel you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty Pirates says, "Good show, everybody." Lorena been spitting fire and truth. Upload to Rumble too. Mm-hmm. Do you have a Rumble account, Lorena? I I do not. I I haven't had a chance to do Rumble. So no, we'll get you yet. get you synced up over there for sure. Get you going. Okay. Uh, dude says it's it's still surprising that all the Weasleys are still gingers though. Well, you'll, you'll never know. That new show's coming. Yeah, they're yes. all gonna be black <laughs> uh, and probably trans. But anyway, we got to go with the trend in Hollywood. Right oh, they're here. probably gonna make um freaking Charlie because Charlie never gets married. They're gonna make him a gay man who's playing with dragons. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Lone Wolf says Blabs. Unfortunately, everyone knows that the books don't count when you are talking about the movies. Everybody does. That's right. That's right. Uh, and Fear the Tardo came back. Says Tardo respect multi purse twin Beardo. Beardo have one percent higher IQ than Tardo. So Tardo <laughs> always impressed by wisdom. <laughs> Lock it in, yay! Tardo and um, Beardo Tardo need to like meet <laughs> YouTube That'd accounts. Be great. Yeah. I love par- yes. I love the parody accounts. That's <laughs> just so funny. I think they're funny. They're outstanding, absolutely. Um, speaking, okay, so we got some songs to sing today. I got lots uh, of memes too. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get to a song before we get to the memes. That's you, Blabs. Here we go. I, okay, here's the thing. I have this. I don't know what this is. I was listening to it this entire time. I don't. I don't know what this is. So um, I'll just like. How do you? <laughs> Uh oh, well, hold on. Say it again. How do you sing an angelic song for Sonic? You just sing your best, Blabs. That's all. Just sing your best. That's all we ask. Oh. Yeah, perfect. You ready? That was it. Go for it. <laughs> no, give us give, give us the good stuff, Blabs. <laughs> Hideous no. Deep from Crush Forty in an angelic voice from verse to chorus. Blabs, sing it out as best you, without actually hearing it. Just go read the lyrics as best you can in an angelic voice. Fire away, Blabs. Oh, Grab the lyrics. I have the video. I was just listening to the video. Please hold. You can sing now. <laughs> okay. Then it's. I guess it's my turn. This is. Okay, from I got the lyrics. Okay. I, I don't know what this. I. I don't know anything. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Yes. Okay. Got places to That's go. It. Gotta follow my rainbow. What is this? <laughs> is this some pride thing? Can't stick around. Have to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. That's what I got. <laughs> That's it. I, I expect tomatoes now. Thank you. All of them. Can you can you hear the music in the background? No. No. no? Good. Okay. Good. I'm listening to the Bloodhound <laughs> Game song. Hold on. 
I got I got to get this real quick. <laughs> I had to ship laps. Like, I got to listen to this song. Okay, fine. All right. So next meme is, shout out to Kratos for giving me the idea to make this with a super chat from last Friday. Poor Craig, will he ever learn to finally read good? The answer is no. Look at Gary behind, because Gary can't read. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the people who can't read. Mazza, Jeremy, Gary. Perfect. Everyone's in class. Um, I'm okay with this. This is a version of me. St stellar blabs. I'm, I'm fine with that. I look a bit weird, though. This is accurate, 100%. This is from Harry Potter. <laughs> you let me take that back. I only said the first two suck. No, you don't suck. They're the most movie accurate, but it's fine. Um, we also have this. Now, I can't play this because this is the Mario theme, but it's basically Craig bouncing around. <laughs> this is really cute, actually. That's funny. Um, it makes the dream work. Yeah, flamboyant. See what I'm saying? Flamboyant, Craig. I'm doing my part, except I'm actually not because I can't play Helldivers. It's glitched. Myself and Rhino glitched they out. They don't respond to people either. No, they, they, they don't have the money. <laughs> it. Let's address the elephant in the room. Don't bring me into this. <laughs> I love the Legion of Beavers, man. Happy, trans, happy April Trans Visibility <laughs> Fool's oh <my> Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, blue, dabba dee dabba die. I can finally be in blue game. Blue lives matter. Mm. And then we have, let's all point and laugh at Craig for never watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Every day on the show. Every day. The elephant in the room, huh? It's Irina. A bunch of elephants. Yeah. And then we have this song. We're going to have to play this back because this is great. Vote for me. Is a vote for me. Dick. <gasps> it's good. It's, it's delicious. Good. <laughs> it's delicious and then we also have this how autistic are they clip from the show so shout out to the memers today thank you guys all right listen i'm gonna need to uh sing this and i'm gonna sing this this is this is i just listened to this and i got it i'm gonna read i'm gonna do the uh it's classic the, the course, i have one yeah. more meme if you want to wait no i got this okay but i'm gonna do it softly because my because my daughters are literally I don't like this, no. Listen, quiet, I gotta do it this way. You had a lot of dick, had a lot of dick. I've had a lot of time, had a lot of time. But you, <laughs> you've had a lot of dick, JC, but you ain't had mine. <laughs> there you go, okay, Blabs, you're right. Was that okay, Flash? That's good. <laughs> I had to that take that out, it was too uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I was uncomfortable with it the entire <laughs> time. So Send another super chat. Have him sing the lap dance is always better when the stripper is crying. <laughs> maybe, maybe on, yes, maybe later. <laughs> we have uh, one more meme that just came in. So here we go Magical Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Uh, Orthodox monk says South Park had it right. Lord of the Rings greater than Harry Potter. Hold this L blabs. There you go. And Abdulio says, Craig, if you end up enjoying Lord of the Rings, uh, will you watch the extended editions in the future? They contain important scenes that should not be missed. Glad you're at least checking out the movies finally. Thanks, Abdulio. And the answer to that is yes. Yes, I will. If if I enjoy them. That was the idea was see if you enjoy them first and then get into the extended deep stuff. So yeah. All right, that is a that was a lot. We did we went really hard today. Had a great show. Um, Flash, I need you to keep me updated, and then if that guy actually uh, offed himself or not. Um, I will. Yes, please well, keep me they, updated. Uh, I guess they hired a private detective to look for him, so we should find out soon. Okay, um, you can find me uh, probably a little bit this afternoon over on the uh, over on the uh, Valiant Renegades stream when they're uh, when Valiant is going to be. Uh, talking about the the big lawsuit that's happening. So um, if, I imagine that'll also put me in the middle of a lawsuit if I appear on that show. So either way, make sure you guys show up for that. It'll be great. Uh, but I do need everybody to go check. If you guys enjoyed Lorena today, go subscribe to her channel uh, right you. there. Go click it right there. Subscribe to her channel. Uh, she's at seven thousand subscribers right now. Let's get that. Let's get that up to ten thousand. Let's get that to ten thousand here. Oh, you know, that would be awesome. <laughs> well, let's start getting it to eight. Eight. Let's start there, and then we'll, let's let's continue to grow Lorena because I I'm positive she's going to blow up. 
So uh, go go subscribe to Lorena. You can also follow her over on X. Of course, Flash, you have uh, you, you're doing a video right after this, huh, buddy? Yep. Okay. You guys uh, go subscribe to Flash, obviously, over on uh, YouTube, and you can go, go find Blabs over on Kick and over here on YouTube, where she oogles at the uh, ethos and all that crazy stuff. Mm. It's crazy. Uh, I will be live over on the Side Scrollers Plays channel uh, just for a little bit today. I was going to play on Friday, and then I had some family stuff come in. Kids are still home, so I may or may not play this afternoon. Uh, but you just go subscribe to the Side Scrollers Plays channel over there, uh, and uh, you can find me playing video games over there. Uh, with that said, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Your generous support today. We genuinely appreciate that. Give it up for Zim being the big pickle today. Can I get some pickles in the chat, please, for Zim and his big old pickleness? Uh, spectacular stuff, guys. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, people are going to try to keep you down. Don't let them. You guys got a goal. Go get it. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.